I did not give this one a whole ticket. I have it. Got a little bit of a busted lip. Yeah. Thank you. Do you need me to take some more back there too? They're not quarters. This is a starter. He's a wiggly work. Yeah, huh? I can see how he can slip. He found his four paws, though. His buddy died, so that's when they when they they usually end up uh, doing like a little bit of a bus slip, or sometimes they'll chip a tooth or something like that when they uh, when they fall. I don't know why it's always the mouth, but it's usually the mouth. Um, he didn't break any teeth or anything, so he looks fine, and it looks like it's just a little scab. That that'll shoot it, heal up just fine. I would I would watch it and make sure that it just like if you want to make sure it stays clean when you, after he's eaten or anything like that just make sure you, like you can wipe it clean with like a little cloth or something and if you want you can put Neosporin on it but it looks like it's already healed up partially so it should be okay yeah he should be fine yeah and you're okay right no other no other injuries no other injuries. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, you can't see the thing. Okay. He's a wiggly work, so I have to hold him. Mm. See, see the way we work. When you slip, you got a little bit of a cut lip, but it's just a tiny cut. It's just a tiny cut. Hey, Becca. Okay, now I'm gonna do your health check. Yeah. I should put gloves on. You're a big boy. I should put gloves on, yes. Hey, Sophia. It's been a long time since you got her. Hey, she's here. Good you're here. Good to see you. Good to see you. You're always looking great. Well, thank you. Not during the week, though. I'll tell you, I don't look like this all the time. I make an effort. No, it's true. <laughs> it's true, right? Hey. She's got naturally good looks that she's nice. Yeah. Alright, stop it, everybody. <laughs> Hi everyone. Blush. So you think his lip will be fine? Maurizio? Yeah. Ciao, Maurizio is there. Maurizio, ciao. He's not even Italian, but <laughs> he has an Italian enough name. I thought he was Italian because that Maurizio is an Italian name. So now we kept it, you know. Now he's, he's Italian. Italian Maurizio. You want to switch? You want me to switch? Yeah, we'll switch. Okay. Let me clean this. For well, actually, you. Uh, yeah. This is not a clean station, so let me disinfect it for you. No, you stay. Busy. She's going to come here. Anybody needs to check in still? You stay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so should I still be putting the screen on his cot on his lip? If you want to, it already looks like it's healed a fair amount. Is this gelitis? No, it's he he fell. He fell. Because oh. he's a slippery wart. 
When? How long ago? He, he fell yesterday from the sink to the floor. I wonder if it just came His teeth are, are, are loose. Yeah. Because he has some hay there that I was going to clean. But. Yeah, his teeth, his front teeth are loose. They are loose? His front teeth are loose? So, let me see how loose. Can we make it so people can check? Hi, everybody. Okay. So we're checking this piggy fell yesterday, and the first thing I check for, and I, I would like for you guys to be able to so, see that. So I think she's doing your whole thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just, I don't know if you finished my. Yeah, I did it. You finished on. Let his me box? show you how I'm pushing yeah. down on his teeth. Okay. Oh, gently, and you see how they move. So I want to just see how loose they are. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. come out. They're gonna come out. Easy boy. Yeah. Yeah, he just needs like ivermectin and uh, maybe just lock it yeah. yeah. Let me just see yeah. if it because if That's it's cyber. like right there, um, it will. They, my girl, knocked her tooth out. They might just when she might just pop out, out if I pull gently. So I want to see. And it can usually regrow. Um, my tweezer is it in here? Um, I had to cut up her food a little finer for a few I need weeks. to get some more tweezers. And then all of a sudden it was back. <laughs> But yeah. It does grow back, right? They, I, in my experience, they always grow back when they've been knocked out like that. It's not, it's because it hasn't, if it hasn't broken the root of the tooth, it's their teeth always keep growing. So it should be, it should just. Dude, that should have been so fast. So how did you just like? My girl did it jumping out of her cage. It's literally like this high off the ground, and she did it like somehow doing that. Can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. has to. She has to take the tooth out. She wants to try. Oh. You got some food stuck there, Bubba. Let me see. I know we're messing with your teeth a lot. We're messing with your teeth a lot. Will he still be able to like eat the the pellets all normal, or will he have to? Um, for a little while, you may have to uh try to grade up. He should be able to get the hay back to his molars and be just fine with that. But um, my girl was okay, but I grated her carrots up and stuff finer for her so that she could just eat it in a mush. Kind of. Okay. It's not there, so it Maybe. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Of course. I'm blind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Typical. It's typical, that's all I can say. <laughs> so I'm not going to yank or pull or anything. I'm just going to see if they want to come out by okay. themselves. Nope. No. Okay, so they don't. So you want to chop the food really fine. And these teeth will fall out by itself. You might not even notice that it's fallen out. But immediately the, the new growth is already pushing yeah. right now and it goes really fast so they're gonna push like out literally those, it was a couple teeth, weeks teeth. later that i checked my girl after her entire front incisor was gone and then like it just was gone suddenly she wasn't buying into the carrot as well and i was like you knocked it out somehow and then she a few weeks later i checked again and it was like she had two front perfect teeth and i was like yeah it goes wait, really wait, really wait. <laughs> Well, you were you missing a tooth, right? No, you can oh. finish them if you want. So you guys okay. No, no, they're st they're still in there, but they might they'll, they'll probably end up falling out on their own naturally when he's chewing. But you want to make sure that you make when you the food you can either grate the food or chop it really really fine because he can't bite into things right now. And he needs to but work it back to the molars. If, if it's small enough, he'll just he can he can take it and then you know he'll bring it back to his molars and then he can chew it. But he won't be able to bite into a carrot or an apple or anything because the, they're so loose and they will fall out. Like I said, the new growth should be coming right after. And the lips, don't worry about it; they look fine. Yeah, yeah. So should I? I the pellets like should I do anything with the pellets? No, because he can eat the, he should be able to eat the pellets just fine. They're small. Yeah, so, yeah, just cut it. Yeah, just cut it. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we don't do that. No jumping off of things. No good. Hi, everyone. I just jumped straight into it. Hey, Carly. Hi, everyone. Hi, D. It's busy here. We have a busy, 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 busy. Let's let me show you real quick how much busy we are. Let's say hi, everyone. Hi. Do I do it here or do I do it there? Oh, super busy. Which one do you have? 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 Which one do you have?
Everyone says hi. Okay, let me finish this little health check and let me bring it down. We go. We went back to this one. I think it's it's better for you guys. It's a little lower. You can see a little better, I think. And even better if I put it on this side. Let's see. Because you can actually see more of what I am doing with the pig than when it was on the other side. There, they can see more on this side. Okay, I can just see my arm now. Side. Okay, I think this might be, but then you see my arm constantly. Oh well. It, literally, it's the same either way because you flip them back and forth. I flip them back and but forth. But we do do, we do do. The teeth and we stuff, do I do on this stuff, side. Yeah, on that side because we're right handed mostly. Yeah. He had what? Oh, okay. The first one? Okay. Where was it at? All right, little man. On the back? Okay. So we check your teethies. We check your feetsies. We got a little spur. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ink stone. His name is what? Z? Oh, Z. Wow. Okay. It's fitting. A little bit. Hi, buddy. Oh, teeny one. Can I cut it? Can I cut it? Will you let me? <laughs> Will you let me cut it? Yeah, I know. I recognize Harry. <laughs> Harry, you're smelly right you're now. Spicy. Why are you smelly? You're spicy, boy. Harry. Yeah, yeah, you're spicy. Oh, actually, it's not you. Come back. Someone is someone's That's voice. That's why you fell. <laughs> you're too spicy. I did just He's clean a boar. So. Okay, maybe I can All right, well, let me see this I, because it's a little it? swollen, actually. I need more papers. Uh, there's no more? Oh. Uh -huh. mm. These are valid. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. So I can really oh, Harry. look at these feet together. You know what that is? I definitely forgot to plug in for lunch. <laughs> Just uh, text game. Okay, so what you do in that is you can track back through the messages. So just text them, but I plug back in and then get up to it. Yeah. I used to forget all the time. His feet are a little swollen. Just like keep an eye on that. Okay? I, nothing that like I can say, well, you got to go to the vet right now with, but. His front paws are, are I feel like a little swollen, time. so just keep, no, keep an eye like on that. No, he writing on the time card. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he's got a little uh, spur that he is like adamant I'm not going to take off. A little spur, yeah. which is a little a piece of callus, that he is adamant I am not cutting off. What is that? A piece of callus. We call it a spur, and it grows along the side of Maybe the foot. Maybe we call it a spur just because you've always had chickens <laughs> and roosters. You wonder no, that? No, did this, this... Or is it in the guinea pig world called a spur? Yeah, it's called okay. a spur. I, I didn't make it up. <laughs> I do make stuff up, but... <laughs> this one I did not. Okay, come here. Right, I need buddies. to manhandle you a little mm -hmm. bit. I'm sorry, kid. Is this in the way? So ask him to move your flowers. People want to watch. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're blocking the view. Look at my flowers. I'll put them back. After. Hi, Julian. Hey, Julian. Yeah, you're not the you the dog. Look, it's you it. so small. I'm gonna oh, leave no. it. It's so small. Does he know? Uh, no. Oh shit. It's Fine. easier to, to cut if it gets oh, a little longer, because it's really longer. teeny. So if oh, it gets shit. a little bigger, it's it. easier to cut. I just know what happened. And how are the bottoms now today? Oh crap. No, no. Okay. Okay. The person that did it didn't know. Get you on the and booty thing. Like, we should have. Let's uh, get you on the booty thing. Well, I don't know if he was serious about it. He talked about it. But... Yeah, big spur on this side. Mm, he didn't take his spur last time. His ears were really clean. Ooh, yeah. Juicy, juicy. Well, one of them was kind of dirty, but the other is. We should do a compilation of me showing the juicy. No. Juicy. No? I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I think people will like yeah. it. Very good job. Oh, too big to mm. mm. okay. That was your proof there that I'm not rummaging around in his, in his down below business. It's, okay, it's the pocket. This is oh, not his push. anus. This is his pocket. Okay, now, I should have done his weenie first because now i got to change my glove. Where is it about this way? Do you do it? Dirty. Okay. No? Because it's pretty clean. Yeah, baby boy. 
my first time. Oh. Okay, so. mm -hmm. You're a good pooper. Yeah. Pooper. <laughs> good boy. All yes, right. You're good. You're good. Yeah, right? Good luck. <laughs> Uh, oh, oopsie. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're dirty. Oh, okay. Ears. Mm, if we yeah. can, we should try and keep the oil in here. Okay, sorry. It's yeah, it's, far. It's, yeah, it's just that I've already dropped it like three times oh, this week. Gosh. You know, and it goes <laughs> everywhere. I need it after you. <laughs> Okay, mister. Hey. All right. Okay. This is just the side of his ear, okay? It's not uh, even the ear ear. Yeah, it's it looks perfectly fine. Doesn't ear. look like he ever even had it. Okay. It's an ear massage here. Nice. Juicy ears, too. He's full. His face is full flat on the towel. Like, get off of me. Yeah, his feet are also really great. It's an ear so massage. He looks perfect. I don't remember. Did I do this? I don't think so. No, there's a little dirt yes. there. Oh, I did? Well, got a little extra. Oh, it's okay. Okay. The Katie Katie? What's that? That's the new big. That's the new big one from Katie. Is it good? It's uh, the right yeah. size. It's a mid okay. made west size. It's, yeah, it's big. It's, it's, it's like, a little larger, I think. Yeah, um, okay, okay, okay. Can I do this? Can I do this? Now, because this okay. eye is is light okay. color, the stuff is you not know, half as impressive looking because it's the no. color of the eye. <laughs> so it's pink. Who is this? Or um, yellow because of the color of the oil a little bit. So you don't really see oh, anything. I can't go eat. I don't have as food. As interesting as with the other one. How many bagels do you have? I just touched that after. No, don't give her your food. Eat your food. I'm not going to take your food. You, Sherry. Okay. Very good. All right, buddy. A little ivermectin for you. There. Good job. Okay, Mister is done. Okay, what does he go? Um, that one right next to you. Yeah. And then there is a second Mister next to you. Um, that one's done. I did it, but if you want to take a look over him. Yeah. But overall, you think from um uh, for for Claudia, we should be on the lookout for the smooth feet. Um, and the, what did you say on his leg? spur. Yeah. We usually just cut them off. It's callus that develops. and But his is so small that it's, and because he was so wriggly that it was hard to cut it. So, but it grows a little bigger. It's easier. So come back in, you know, a couple of months and then I can cut it much easier. Yeah. It doesn't grow that fast. Oh, okay. So the the, um, the, the Who is this? Shadow? Yes. Oh, yeah, they buddy. will fall out yeah, by themselves. You don't even notice. You just look, you know, keep an eye on it because it'll fall yeah. out and then the new teeth will immediately start to grow. You probably already see a little nub growing yeah. when the teeth falls out. It's amazing. It takes days before you already see the new growth. Where was it at? Yeah? Do you remember? Oh, like his ringworm. Oh, his lips look okay. You can definitely put a little bit. Mm. But it looks okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, the Abyssinian. It's the breed. Okay. Can we purchase some pellets? Uh, yeah. We, need to we have to find someone who can help with the. Uh... <laughs> can someone? No, we're all busy. Um, I can help you in just a second. Okay. How's your son? We haven't seen him in a long time. He is actually today. He is at a film set. He does like PA work every now and then. So he today is on a set. 
doing at 4.30 this morning, starting, I don't know what kind of show or whatever it is, but he really likes it. So that's what he's doing today. I know. Well, he usually goes airsofting. He likes airsofting, and that's usually what he does on Saturdays. He's uh, He loves guinea pigs, but he's very allergic to the hay. So even holding a guinea pig that's been in the hay will make him break out. So it's very unfortunate because he loves them, and he just wants to snuggle them, and he can't. But um, so that's why he has to, he cannot even walk in the garage without getting breathing problems. It hasn't grown at all, has it? I don't think so. Good to hear that he's fine. Yeah, no, he's good. It still feels like he's a hard ball saying little He's mongrel. enjoying it. Because the vet said there was nothing there. Yeah. Thank you for asking. I don't think it's changed. No worries. He looks really great. His feet are so smooth. I haven't seen guinea okay. pigs with like um, feet this smooth. You see the piece that's in there now? So they have. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Yeah. It looks pretty clean to me. Saskia's doing your last boy. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. A little dirty here, but it's clean this inside. One. Okay. He's very chunky. Yeah. Very chunky. Good. I love right. chunky guinea pigs. Clean this all trash? All done. Yes. Very trashy trash. All done. Good boy. Yeah, Should go bye bye. Yeah, and just toss it. Should go bye bye. Oh, wait. Where does he go? Oh. In here. Okay, I'll let Saskia do your... Do you have time for a walk-in health check? Not really, but... What we're going to do. Yeah, make it, that's good. That's good. What are we gonna do, hey? Right? Can't send them home, they're already here. But if people get word of that, they're gonna all do it and come without an appointment because appointments cannot be hit until what, eight, end of March for health checks? It's really busy. It's, it is the end of March. Till the end of- It is April. May, it's April already. Right? May, it's like yeah. we're into May for health checks. Oh, he's really big. He's a big guy. He's a big baby. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. We got a little bit on but that's from like, I don't know. Nice white belly, a silver or goody kind of. I love this color. Yes, I do. All right. Let's get you guys down. Oh, let's see. Oh, my bad. We're going to be in the ball. Boy. Okay, let's start with your nosies, all right? Okay. All right, little man. You are good piglet. You should be good piglet. Yes, you are. So we're going to find him a friend today? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Columbus. It was not, uh, he passed. Oh, he was, yeah. you adopted Columbus and it didn't work out? Yeah, yeah. We had him for a good two years and then I think the respiratory stuff, it just got, it kept getting worse and worse and then it just it didn't didn't Respiratory that. stuff? Columbus was, yeah, he was. Issues, and then oh, he passed away. Yeah, yeah he passed. They had him for two years. Yeah, he had respiratory issues, and then like we kept fixing it, but it just kept coming back. He had chronic ones, yeah. This time it just came back ten times worse. And it just... Can I cut off his icky stuff here? Go for it. Um, would that be okay though? Like, would it hurt? No. No, it's just cutting the hair off. Oh, it's okay. The, it's the no, hair. Like it's it's it's, it's, it's the oil. It's like they have that gland there, oh, yeah. and it gets all oily and kind of oh, dirty, okay. and so she's just cutting out the yeah. dirty hair. Yeah. Do whatever you need to do. Might look a little weird, but you know. You might have a little bit of a bald patch, a skull patch on the butt. It's okay. I don't mind the hair because it's fun. All right, you're good, buddy. You're good. Who is this? Let me see your ears. These are good. I forget if I chucked your teeth, but. I'll just do it again. All right. Okay, baby. <laughs> okay. Time for. You know what? Time for you know what. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So what do we have today? Let's see. Did we miss anything fun? I don't think so. We we're busy, but nothing crazy came in. Maybe later today. We never know. Okay. Okay, boo boo. I know. It's like he's, he knows what's coming. He's just trying to climb up on me. Who's picking up this? Oh, yeah. Are you here for a health check? Yeah. Okay. All right, little guy. You're okay. 
You're okay. No. He's not having it. When they just push their head back and they're just like, oh, please don't. Okay. Nice, pretty clean. It's just a little bit of icky. Nothing too crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm going to look at the weenie. Come on. And what time was your appointment? No, come here. <laughs> What's your wife's? Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. No, it's dirty. I gotta oh, yep. Up. I got a big spray. Okay. Oh, oh, that didn't hurt. It did not hurt. Just taking it off the side, kid. Something in there? No. It's okay. It's okay. All right. A little bit of all my help. Put it all back in where it's supposed to be. Uh, Take that piece. Put it here. All right, I haven't had a break. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, do that. There you go. Good job. Is this weenie okay? Weenie is great. Okay. Cool. Great weenie. <laughs> it's lovely. Love it. It is a great, great weenie. <laughs> I'm still gonna laugh. Monetize. I still gotta <laughs> laugh when I say that. When we started doing filming and stuff. We would always like, what are we gonna say? And then whenever we said like the, the weenie word, we were all like giggling. And now it's like normal, you know. We even say things like penis. And then back then it was like, That's what an did you say? Term. <laughs> it was it's almost embarrassed term. about it. That was funny. And then, you know, weenie, wieners, weenus, whatever, you know, there's many names. And one lady was was complaining that we didn't call it by its proper name. And I go, well, YouTube sometimes doesn't like exactly. you calling it by its proper name. If the spur's gotten long enough, does it start to, like, Wait, irritate the skin underneath? Yeah. Because he's, like, he's irritated enough to, like, it's not bleeding a lot, but it's bleeding a little bit from the, uh, where the spur, like, the oh. skin cracks. But that's not where I cut. Say I cut here. But now it's bleeding above it. The skin was really dry and it cracked. Because I cut that spur. You see where I cut it? Yeah. And I didn't cut above it. So I don't know what the like, little fine lines in between it. They look like it's like skin cracked, like when your lip cracks. Well, it's not bleeding. It's just red. It's just really red. Right. So is there fungus on these feet? I think so. And I think it's really so dry them, and it cracked. Let them do a fungus treatment because they're yeah, going to take care of that. Mm, I don't want to put blisters on it because there's alcohol in it. It might burn the little cracks. Mm. There's some CBD on it. Or no, it's not Okie dokie. Sorry, you're all like crooked. Crooked. This so he has like his feet are just really dry from I think from a, um, the a common like fungal feet that they get. I'll give you a sheet angle, on it. Um, right? I'm gonna put some cream on it. It's like, it's like when your skin when it's your like lip cracks the in the corner line. and stuff like that, and it's like that little see... like red line. Um, oh, yes, he has that on his paw toe. from when That's I was like, like a holding it out like and it cutting the. Dogs. He has little calluses on it. I was cutting off sometimes. And so I think it's just really dry. It's a nail that hangs. And so I'm gonna recommend you do the cream. And dogs have it. And they often when they neuter or spay a dog they'll they'll take the dew claw off and same with the guinea pig but you know you can just safely leave them on you've got to make sure that you you know cut them if needed but his really didn't i don't think i cut it because it was just nothing to cut really so what spurs no his little dew claw oh. his little dew claw little little okay wow okay yeah it was dry so i'm gonna cream help a lot can you you see how the cream helped a lot uh here you're here i'm gonna oh, hi. set him up for adoption you guys are real close Hey, 
Okay, sorry guys. I'm back. And this was my ivermectin. It's to put it back. Okay. Good boy. I know. There's a Deutschen person, a Deutschen Mensch. Before he was castrated, he was very aggressive. Laut der Zygterin is he schüstern. Und meine Dame lasst sich von ihm nicht besteigen. Okay, well, I kind of got a little bit of that. <laughs> Something about... Ich bin? If, I've been? If her boy is still going to no. hump her female after no. neutering. I think that's what, what this was about. Okay. Uh, probably. That can happen. But... Um, I am thinking of doing a German channel where I'm, my voice will be dubbed as they are used to in Germany. So I'll do all the videos in German and it'll be a German station because a lot of Germans don't, don't speak English and they're used to seeing all the movies dubbed. Did you know that? That's actually really cool. Huh? I said that's actually really cool. I did not know that. Yeah, in Portugal as well. That's why a lot. Of, well, Portuguese actually they learn it in school now. But um. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I know. One little piglet. We have one little piglet. Whose piglet is this? There it is. Hi. How are you? How is this? How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Is he just the one? Yeah. Are you finding a friend? No. No worries. It was hard to go through the whole loss of Oreo. Okay. How did he? What happened? He was just really sick with. Yeah. And, uh, he just wasn't getting any better. He was losing a lot of weight. And then he had the um, bladder stones, too. Oh, gosh. So those, were, those really never went away. No, those stones are, when once they make them, they become like stone making machines. Yeah, so he, he passed in uh, January 25th. Do you know if you have hard water or soft water? Uh, we have soft. Oh. Because hard water can often be a cause of stones as well. Oh, okay, yeah. We used to give them bottled water, though. Yeah, filtered is the best. Yeah. But it's genetics as well. I mean, I, I'm not a believer of the of the no calcium diet for a low calcium diet for pigs with stones because they need calcium. Yeah. You know, if you're going to lower the calcium, they're going to have a, a, a lack. So, you know, I really think it's the water, it's the pellets, what the, the, what's in the pellets, the not so good stuff, the fillers in the pellets, uh, and just bad genetics that happens. He's got dirty ears. <laughs> what was his name again when he was here? Do you remember? My other one? This one. Oh, that, that's Keebler. That was his name when he was here? Yeah. yeah. Keebler? Yeah, that's Keebler. We got him from the pet store. Oh, I thought he came from, yeah, here. from here. We need more uh, Q-tips. Sweetheart, would you mind do that? Yeah. Thank you so much. We've had him now a little over four years. Look at this hard nugget that just came out of the ear. Huh? That just came out of his ear. That's dried up uh, skin and stuff. Oh, dried up. Wait, waxing skin and stuff. That's from the ear. It has oil on it now. But... Yeah, shake that off. That's like a good ear clean. Wow. Is that a teddy? That's like when a human goes and gets like their ear clean. Like, Is that a teddy? 
No, he's just he's an Abby, but he's an older Abby with really a lot of overactive skin cells. Wow, yeah. he's got a lot of dandruff. Okay, couch. Do you want to get up today or do you want to wait? Okay. So Jeffrey's going home. Yeah. He could probably use a bath. He's just a little yeah. dandruffy. I also, um, is it normal for them to shed a lot? They do. They shed. They tend to shed a fair amount. Yeah. Come here, baby okay, boy. boy. No, 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 no. You're not getting away from it. Okay. Okay. That one's good. Can you go num nums on the other side? Can you go num nums? Good boy. Good boy num nums. Um, let me check because there's some early boxes that I don't know what's inside. Okay. Okay. So let me go back and then um, okay. oh those are not Okay, so yeah, gather things I'll get the He's got lots of stuff in the ear. Was it just that one lump you got out or more lumps? Oh no, he's he's uh he's just got really backed up ears. He's got dirty ears. Okay, sweetheart, we're almost done. Just one more. Okay, one more. Thank you. I know, I know, I know. You're so sweet. Oh, go eat, go eat, eat. eat. Forget about me. I don't, I'm not here. Yeah, I'm not here. Oh, no. Yeah. He's so trying to eat and, and at the same time ward me off. It's, uh, I don't have to put board down over here. They haven't gotten the bond yet because I'm trying to eat and people want Okay. Where is my alcohol? Booty cushion. Yes. This is the best part. He likes this one best. Okay. No, I had to get the corner. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay, little mister. Mm. Are you going to be a good lad? Are you going to be a good lad? Let's do your little weenie first. How's that? Yeah. What happened? It's pretty attached. It's pretty attached. What are you talking about? I can't get his weenie out. It's okay, sweetie. Why can I not get the weenie out? Ha! Do you guys hear Harley? That's her name. Come on. Come on, you weenies. There you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look, I already dislodged all the hay for you. <laughs> all right. There. Hold on. Almost yeah. done. Oh, yes. Isn't that dirty? No, I said get that piece. Okay, put it back. Fine, I'll get it. Good boy. You put it back. There you go. Good job. But we're not done. No. We've got some ickies down here. Like, whoa, icky. Whoa, icky. I know. I know. Oh, it's the pixie. Lots of icky. Ooh, looks like chewing gum, but no, you know, no, no. I don't think I would want to chew on that. <laughs> oh my god, I am just terrible. The things I say, you should, guys, you should just prevent me from saying certain things. <laughs> just you got, you got to have tape ready to shut my mouth. You got me. keep my tape my mouth shut or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, that was good. <laughs> that was a lot. It's all gone now. Yeah, you feel better? You feel better? There you go, little mister. Oh, this little extra tissue? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah. But it hasn't, like, gotten any bigger. No, it just looks like a little extra tissue. Exactly. Like, don't worry about it. Unless it starts to grow, we need to get it removed. 
but like it is now, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it needs to be removed, that would be a super easy local anesthetic type of thing. So, did you guys see that? You want me to show you again? Let me see. He's got this little bit of tissue right here on the side, right where my finger. Yeah, well, he doesn't want me to show you. Okay, well, that's okay, mister. Is he in this one or this oh, one? Oh, he's got a huge impact. He's in this one, the carrier, right? Yeah. He's in the in the carrier? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sarah. Sarah. Here it comes, here it comes. All right. Sarah. Here you go, sweetheart. Wow, that was a dramatic. <laughs> ah, watch out. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Good, I'm always running into each other. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like the British. I'm so sorry. Sorry. In Germany, we must have a neuter boy with a girl better. Two or more or, or rescues don't give boys to boys or girls to girls. Some boys need more than one girl and for only one girl, the boy stress. This, you know what? It is so interesting how the Germans have their own brand of guinea pig care. It's really, maybe I should rethink my the channel thing I wanted to do in German because okay, some of the it's things okay. that I say or that we do here go, I think, against a lot of what they do in Germany. So maybe um, they're going to hate me. <laughs> so, you know? I don't know because that there, but you just rode is is not something that we practice here at all. We, uh, you know, it's very expensive for one to do all those surgeries, so we can avoid and if we can avoid it. We we rather not do it. We have lost guinea pigs doing the neutering surgeries, so we only do them on really difficult boys that we can't find homes for. Um, and we lost one of our dearest and nearest, Pablo, you know, that was just so traumatic for all of us. So neutering, oof, you know, unless you have a really good vet that has done so many of them and is not, 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 not going to make a mistake. Um, I am very cautious now about neutering because of that traumatic experience. But if you have a good vet, then you should go for it. You know, there are good vets. Sauce, so, you want to look at this pig for me? I did actually post a neutering video for vets to see how a great neuter is done. What um, is up with him? He's got lots of poop in there. Huge impaction. He just hasn't had a health check in a long time and he has a mammary gland. Okay, well why don't you finish that and I will do the last kind of look. Looks like an old boy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. They they get a little more. Oh, it's like more big impaction. It's like Raoul level, of course. Oh, Raoul's okay. First impaction. Okay. No, I'm saying well, like we, that was all. We should impacted. have shown that to everybody else. So like a really nice big impaction. There's still a ton in there. Look. Oh, why are you just? You, you can't even see what they're seeing. <laughs> That's why I said you want to take a look at him. Wait. Okay. Saskia. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Is this is that the liner? Is it coming out easy? That's everything that's in yeah, there. Yeah, that's a. I feel I mean, that that's a piece of liner that you could just pull out, which I'm not gonna do with my bare no. hands. It's not. And it's all stretched skin. Yeah, it's been so stretched that. So it's... just tell the owner they need to come a little sooner yeah. so that we can help him. Come next time. Try to come every um, like six weeks. Six weeks to eight weeks, um, especially as they get older, because he's got a really bad infection. Impaction. Who's whose pig is he? Right here. Imp not infection. Because if, when I say it, people always say infection. No, impaction. And you know what that is? Okay, it is. Let me explain what an impaction is in a female um, in a female guinea pig. No. In a male guinea pig, an impaction is where they. Um, okay. I have videos on it that show it with photos and video perfectly. It's kind of hard to explain. So they have their penis and they have a sac. And the anus, sorry, penis is kind of here. The, oh my goodness, okay, I'm going. so sorry, lads. All right, that, that was, that, that was uh, Desi, that was not me, that was Desiree. Yes, <laughs> Wasn't me for way. change. 
the pocket and there is the anus is kind of right here inside the pocket just right here so what we do when we clean we open the pocket with our fingers we spread it kind of and we take out the smegma that's inside with the q-tips and the poopies just go right out that has nothing to do with the pocket right and the pocket why they have it nobody really knows it just collects smegma you saw me pull that stuff out it's kind of icky it stinks um but they can use it to scent mark you'll sometimes see them scent mark where they kind of you know mark the ground but with older males that skin of that pocket which is called a perennial sac with older males it will lose its elasticity there are no muscles in here if you read it online i say oh the muscles lose their but there's no muscles it's just kind of skin so and then what happens if the if the pig has a little bit of a loose stool but it doesn't even have to be loose stool the poopies can go instead of going out they can go into the pocket and then stay in the pocket you pass me a tissue and then we call it an impaction, okay? So when it kind of stays there. So when we clean them out, which we always do with all the males, we always check and clean. And every now and then they have an impaction. And it's, you know, nothing you're doing or not doing, you know, nothing wrong with you. Um, but it does mean that he needs to be checked out a little more regularly and cleaned out more regularly. Because it's already stretched out at this point, so it's gonna fill back up. Yeah, it will fill back up. Will will fill back up. Once they have it, it, sometimes the first cleaning, it, 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 you know, it might go back and it might not actually, um, you know, come back as big as it was because you're, you're staying on top of it. Does that make sense? Was that a good explanation? Did I do that good? And then she also has to did worry I, about that the good? memory thing? plant. <laughs> and hay and hair and can go in there. Yeah. She has to worry about the memory plant. Yeah, so apparently he also has, let me see that first. That's why I wanted you to look at him. <laughs> I act like ten minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> Apparently has a little memory gland issue, which is an older boy. Hi. Oh, oh nice. That was me. Okay, that was me. How about you not balance on top okay. of other things? That might that might be a good idea. <laughs> Okay, he has a memory gland tumor. So right here, and if you want to come, come over here so I can show you. It's actually liquid is coming out. So yeah, I that know. is really not showing. I want to show her that so that she really knows. He has what we call a memory gland tumor. This boy guinea pigs have nipples as well. And why men do? I think everyone knows boys have nipples. Well, I, you'd be surprised how many people have asked me, wow, do the guinea pig boys have nipples? That makes no sense to me because they're either a female or a male. Okay, either way so you can <laughs> see that when I when I kind of gently press it, liquid comes out. Did you see that? Yeah. It's attached to the, the tumor. And that is for sure an indication that this is a tumor if the liquid comes out. Now, this can become worse whereby the liquid, the whole... Um, that it, oh, there was actually some pink liquid coming out. A little bit of blood. A little bit of blood in there, and that is also, you know, for sure indication. Sometimes it gets attached that, to like the, the sometimes it fills up a lot with like bloody pinky kind of liquid. Now this needs to. This is a surgery. This is not going to go away by itself. Right now it is very small. It would be a very easy. But surgery. his age? How old is he? Five. Five. His age would be a concern. Do you have insurance? No. No insurance. That's a, a, such a shame. I really urge everybody to get insurance when your piggies are three. Yeah. Because that's when they start getting things that are expensive, you know. Um, I'm going to give you a list of veterinarians because you, you want to see if he is a candidate for surgery because of his age uh, and just get general, you know, advice about it. Um, so do I set come every six weeks? Try make an appointment? Yeah, try make an appointment so we can clean him out. 
Yeah, because we'll that, that stuff is free for you every yeah, six that's days. free. Did you give them ivermectin? Yeah, that's no? the last thing. Okay, this is free too. It's a preventative against lice mites and internal parasites. Oh. Buddy, he's he's cleaning himself. Okay, he just went through an ordeal with me. <laughs> we had an ordeal together. We bonded. <laughs> oh, he bites. Be careful. If he gets oh, fed up with you, only like he was fed up with me. Well, he was very fed up with me. Sometimes they and especially when his ears, because they were like you know a lot of dry stuff in there and stuff. So it like it probably is like a little irritating to clean it out after. Is with, this his? Long. Yes. Oh, ours. This is this there. Okay. And um. Feel the pillow inside. Feel the pillow yeah. inside. It's the softest no. pillow you've ever felt. I'm not kidding you. Okay. Thank you. I was about to go ask. I designed them. Oh, it is very soft. Oh, very nice. Thank you. It's perfect, airy. You know, it's the perfect carrier, really. Yeah. The my wicker carriers are here, so and I'm very happy because they're the perfect summer carriers too. And I'm disinfecting donuts. Why not? Okay. We all need to disinfect our donuts, don't we? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just said something really silly again. Okay. Maybe I need another coffee. <laughs> It's just one of those days, guys. One of those days. Don't don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. We still get the cloud up right here. So just keep going. Keep going. So what do you German people think? I know Chocolina, you would like a German channel. I'm sure you would. An English channel for good advice. So, do you think the German uh, guinea pig um, community is going to embrace me, at us, or are they going to, um, you know, be mean and want to fight? <laughs> so I don't, I don't do that. I don't. I, I'm not mean and I don't fight. Oh, 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 it's okay, I know. It was just so nice and warmy in there, and now I'm coming to get you. That is not fun. You're so cute. That's, is that yours? Yeah. She's a bit of a little diva. Well, I gotta say, she was lying down so comfortably and yeah. snug and warm and, and and then i just came and i'm gonna put you guys here i think it is better for you to see on this angle and then i just uh oh, oh my gosh yeah miss diva it's okay <laughs> Okay, I need a camera. I could do that forever. Um, Jules, what? Can you can you film this? One second. I'm sorry, guys, but this is this is like a TikTok moment, isn't it? This is a perfect TikTok video. I can do it. Is the other side is TikTok. Which side is TikTok? That like there? I have no idea. Hey, you're old enough to know about TikTok. Well, I've never enough, recorded rather. a video for TikTok, so I have no clue. I think it's that way. That way? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's hope she's still doing it. Okay. Okay. Aww. Oh, She's, she's not doing it. Oh, not as fine. much. Not as much. It, would have, it was better the first time around. Yeah. That would have been a TikTok video for sure. Little girl.
You're funny to make everybody laugh. And your laughter is good. Yeah. So yeah. we put we put the morning for three weeks in July. Yeah. I just want to make sure that the July second is a Saturday. You are open. Is it Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, we're open Saturday. Okay. Because yeah, not on I Sunday. Was because it's Saturday before July fourth. Oh no, so we're open. I'm coming back one day before from Italy just to pick them up. We are here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're Italian. Yeah. Ciao. Uh, Where from? Napoli. From Napoli. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, your last name is Italian. Chiesa, si. Also my favorite Italian player, soccer player. Oh, is that his name, Chiesa? Yeah, Chiesa. Oh, how funny. My husband's Italian. <laughs> he was born at Barga. In? Barga. Okay. So he was born in Italy? Yes. Yeah, in Tuscany. Yeah. And then he came here when he was like four years old. Wasn't ah, he? Okay. Yeah. Really? He was born in Tuscany? Yeah. I didn't know he was born in Italy. He's a real, 100% real purebred Italian. Italian. Yep. Purebred Italian. Why is he not making me pasta all the time? Well, I tell you what, I make the sauce. I had a fling with an the Italian. Pasta to and he him. burned his pizza and I made so much fun of him. <laughs> It was like a two. It was like a two-pound pizza in England. <laughs> it was like a frozen pizza, and he burned it. And I was like, "What kind of Italian are you?" <laughs> All right, little mommy. You very oh. funny little girl. Let me see. Everything good. Everything good. Everything good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. I've gotten so many of these All things. Okay, mamacita. Okay. Well, is it alkaline? Okay. There. Glory and mercy. Kissy kisses. Give kisses to everybody. Kissy kissy. Who are you doing? She's doing that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, you a jumpy pig. Oh, you a jumpy pig. <laughs> you were ready to come out. Is it outgoing? Oh, Jeffrey, yes, you got to adopt it. You stay, Jeffrey. Okay, okay. Whoa. Your stuff fell out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A single male gonna Okay, yeah. this is her girlfriend. Uh -huh. She's the girlfriend. Girlfriend. Do you think it's a good idea hey. to go and see the side profile to make sure that it's completely gone? Front. Uh -huh. Side. Honestly, Whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, okay. The first time he got it. Good girl. Got, it was gone and they didn't give me enough and he mm. got it back again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happened with my girls. Um, <laughs> I don't I know which video that, that was. Okay. You mentioned you it. Just I okay. actually do just, do the just to be it. But sure I am definitely not touching the right. pasta. <laughs> um, it should be okay. It shouldn't be that is his job. Okay. Okay. I'm not messing with that. I'm not messing with knee telling in the pasta. What? What? Pasta? I want pasta. <laughs> no, when I make sauce. Which I am really, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty decent. I chef. like your soup. I like the duck Listen, soup. Listen, when I have, have when I have the um, workshops and people come and they, it's lunch included, I make the lunch, and everybody loves it. Or maybe they just say they. And maybe I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. but you know what? There's a lot of volunteers here all of a sudden yeah, those on those days. <laughs> Because I might can make a mean chili. I know I can get leftovers. In fact, I want second prize. And a cook-off? Yes. And a vegan you chili did. cook off. <laughs> what a what a what a at specific the, group long, of people. At the Long Beach <laughs> Vegan Festival. What a specific group of people. <laughs> and there were lots of celebrity judges and I won second prize. It was my first time ever entering. So now I wanted to enter more of those things. But now COVID, and I can't do it. Because I was going to come back and go, first, I want the first prize. But then it was canceled because of COVID. You're very healthy. Yes. Let me just check for for ickies. You don't have ickies, do you? No. You have no ickies. <laughs> you have no ickies. Mm, look at the ears. They're okay. They're okay. Tifus? You want to check your tifuses? 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 Keep pretty tifuses. Okay. There. Okay. Yeah.
Kind of. I was taught a little bit. Go for it. <laughs> we're, just, we're just throwing you in there. That's what that always happens. What's your name Wait, again? From, uh, Leilani. Leilani. She's a new She's volunteer. She's got a whole name. One of my favorite <laughs> Leilani, names. Say hi to everyone. Hi. I've named Pigs Leilani. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah. She's a new volunteer. Wait, and we just, we, I don't know. We're Swipe just up? throwing okay, you in there. Okay, got it. And then it should be connected. We just throw everybody in there. You can type in. In the search bar for uh -huh. whatever item that you need to. Got find. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Harley, I love you. Why are you so noisy today? Can you hear the music? I love Harley's sounds. He's how happy. Well, he wants to. He needs to uh, find a home for Harley because he, he has what? to go. Yeah, he has to go get a a, a big surgery and won't be oh. able to take care of his. Of his animals afterwards. He, he's, After? He lives alone. Yeah. It's um, they like they all have to find permanent homes now. Like new homes. Yeah. So he's looking. He's asked us if we wanted Harley, but I, I'm not sure. Well, you already have we Manuelito. So busy. <laughs> yeah. Is Manuelito coming back? Well, that's a mule. This I know. Is a, this a donkey. Is a donkey. It's a difference. There is a difference. Donkeys are nicer. <laughs> Don't tell a donkey it's a mule or the other way around. They get upset. I know. I know. I know. I was just saying, you already have a mule that's stubborn enough, but donkeys, they're pretty sweet. The mule, by the way, this is good news, everybody. Is he doing Manolito, well at boot camp? He went to boot camp. I call it Mexican boot camp. It sounds horrible, but it really is not. It's the kindest man, Gustav and Gustavo, and he trains yeah. the purple horses Mac. with um, behavioral problems. Yeah, I tried oh, to those ones are... Our Manolito is just police. wild. Okay. Minor? Really goat. Wild, wild, wild. And we couldn't really do and anything with them. Huh. And okay. what is going on with you? And I also those were for 15, so okay. just put, just put so in. Just so he went the, there and put in now we're getting videos back where he's being ridden and kind of like... You know, yeah. picking up you his feet, it okay. and it's he's like yeah. sitting wrong way around on the on the on on the mule. I mean, it's just crazy stuff. <laughs> I just like I could never believe. I would what he's doing around that. the world on the mule? He says he's worth a lot of money now. <laughs> he's a he's a pony mule, and they they're really hard to get, I suppose. I'm like, well, I don't know. We were supposed to go pick him back up. You were in a coma. But the problem is, is that we then need to keep you in a riding him. And there's nobody really able to do that, to keep working with him and riding him. So we're trying to now find him a home because he is now doing so good. Okay, has your piggy. Whose piggies? Oh, you want to get Manuelito adopted? Whose piggies are these? Are, this, are these borders? Those are outgoing. That's outgoing. Lori and Ursula outgoing. <laughs> oh. They am the Lori and Ursula. You named them Lori and Ursula. I didn't. I have a feeling they I might have nicked you there. Just a wee bit. Yes. Who has Jeffrey? Yay! Cusp. Look at mommy. Get in there. Okay, let's get rid of this spur here. There. Spur gone. Okay. 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 Um. Um, um, the ear. Good job. Got it. So, who is adopting these ladies? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, it's Jeanine. Oh, okay. Jeanine. Who? Jeanine. Oh, you guys are? Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You need to be down. Follow your uh, follow you on YouTube. So oh, okay. Excited to see you doing that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Good to meet you. See? I'm checking out your piggies. Yeah. He's so cute, little boy. I would have one little boy who just loved me, and he made me drawings every time he came. And and I see the kids grow up, you know, and they come, they get a guinea pig when they're little, and then... 
see them become teenagers. Oh, what, 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 what? Um, Desi, have you noticed that this could possibly be a little bit of fungal, mm. ear fungal? Do not know. She was up front for a minute and then went to the back. So, so what I am suggesting is to send them home with some blister sole because this type mm -hmm. specifically looks like it's just starting. Mm -hmm. It's hard to detect, mm -hmm. uh, but the blister sole seems to do a much better job. So we'll just give them a bottle and just say apply it, mm -hmm. and it's just on here. And I'll check the other one as well. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Let me grab so this is not like your regular ringworm at all. Yeah. This is a whole different subspecies yeah it's kind of hard to see guys you really need to be close close up but it's just right here on the top and it's not a normal ringworm but that should not be like this and sometimes it gets all where it gets really flaky on the top of the ear but inside the ear there's it's nowhere else it's just on top of the ear and that is a whole different type of um, whole different type of fungus like there is the foot fungus which is different all right Missy okay I'm gonna show let me go show the owner and I'm gonna just turn you over so you can see a little bit okay let me show you what I'm talking about okay thank you yeah I did the same thing <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Great. Is it on both or um it's just on this one? I will do both. Do both. Yeah, might okay. as well. Okay. I'm going to check her, but she probably Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for doing uh, that. Yeah, but it's very common. The guinea pigs are so prone to fungus. Yeah. It's really amazing. It's just, it's almost hard to find one that doesn't have it. Sure, sure. In some way or other. Yeah. It's really bizarre. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. Okay. Are you going to remind me? Okay. Twice a day, two weeks. Twice a day, two weeks. And if it's not gone, three weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go check her little sister. Her sister. Hi. So similar. Okay. Let's start with your nails, girlfriend. What did I come in here? Marcella, there we go. And here, I have a spur here too. Now she has no sign of it. But okay. as a preventative, just, just treat her too. Okay. So I could be overreacting with that, but better be safe than sorry. Sure. That looks tough to, to trim the nails. Is that... It can be. <laughs> Depending on the piggy, if the piggy's not cooperating, then yeah, it can be hard even for me. I have a lot, a lot of videos on YouTube about how to trim the nails. Okay. Um, but she has a few spurs here, which is just like callus that I always like to cut, and that's a little more. Uh, you can do it with a regular nail clipper, but that takes a little practice. Can I pick up a little more? I can. Well, I'll definitely Western. watch your videos. Yeah, I think by now I have a video on just about everything. You guys do health checks too, right? Oh yeah. yeah, they're free. You can just make an appointment online. Okay. And we'll take care of it. Of all this stuff, nail clipping, checking, you know. Great. We can often pick up on stuff before it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. So, 
That's always a good thing. And I recommend you get health insurance because a guinea pig costs about as much as a dog. Can you, in front of the folder, in the in the? Oh, is it this one? Yeah. Nationwide is the only company that offers uh, guinea pig insurance. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, several rounds of activity first. Because the food is just a distraction. Okay, well, thank you for this too. Yeah. Okay, Missy. Okay. So, you? And we have not been on the. We've not been plugged in, have we? Okay, do you have a carrier? We're going to get yours here. Oh, awesome. Well, bring it over and I can put them in there. This is all wee-wee. This looks all wee-wee dirty. Someone wee-weed on this. Or it's it could be just cleaning just, stuff yeah. no one cleaned. So I just sold my first carrier. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Okay. Show you guys too. Everyone says looks like a like a um, picnic camera, which I guess it kind of does, but it is perfect for Olympics. I designed it, so it's got plenty. And this is so soft. Oh my God, I want to sleep on it. It is so here. So soft, I asked the people who made it to, to put in a, a, a regular person's version for me, personally. <laughs> Alright girls, you're going to love your new carrier. Yes, you are. Yes, it's so soft. It's so soft. There we go. There's plenty airflow. I still need to do the photos and then put it on. I'm not even seeing any of this goodness. And um, it's not for sale yet. That was 75? The carrier was 75, yes. It's handmade. It's a beautiful carrier. It's gorgeous. I hope you guys like it. So you're next. Okay, well, it's time to clean up first. And therefore, cats and small dogs too. It's not just make a human size of the carrier. <laughs> oh, thank you, Thomas. Oh, thank you. I do eat the cookies. Yeah, I eat the cookies for the guinea pigs. Well, actually, I don't. Not really, but um, um, I will taste them when they're new cookies. I need to know if they taste. <laughs> weird and if I have one that's not eating right I will preach you the cookie now that's really gross and then we wanted to ask you about this um, yeah, so do they need one of these? Is that, okay. Okay. Is that cedar? Pine. It's pine. Okay. You sure it's not a mixture? It almost smells like cedary. Nice smell. Try and get the softer one. Um, because it's really hard, this one. So what we use is a, is a softer flake. It's not dusty. We, we have it here. That big bag is like $15. 
and that's what we use and it's it's really soft because this is kind of hard on their feet so you might want to think about you know maybe changing it okay oh, and that's pine it's kiln dried pine yeah but it's just much softer sh curl shavings okay there we go kids we are gonna put you down do I do board cleanings? Oh yes, all the time. Yeah, just gonna wait for a boy to come and we'll see it. Okay. Oh, you're gonna see one now because this is a boy. Hi boy. Baby. Hi baby. It's a good baby. <clears throat> you're a good boy. Yeah. We got a big spur here. Let me see this big spur here. This big thing I'm holding here. That's a spur. He's got one on this side, not as big. Okay, let's start with that. Hi, hey, sweetheart. You start with your nailsies, okay? No. <laughs> He is like, no, I'm not doing it. You're not doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, good boy. The other one was short enough. Did you just do that, Nails? Yeah, I see that. All right, so this is an... He needs to cut a lot? Yeah. Um, you know, you can... It all depends. Some people want to cut them every week, do it just a little bit every week. Other people want to wait for a month. But they're, you know, they're, they're, they're at a size where they sh they're, they're not due yet. Yeah, if that helps. He had a nice spur here so that I cut off. I can cut off a little more. That's just a callus. But I don't like those because they can sometimes tear. Are they easy to cut off? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you got to be careful not to cut into the flesh because they are attached. But it's, it's just callus. So, if you want to kind of get an idea, that was his spur. It's just on the side of his... Oh, see that? That's just really hard. It's just, it's just skin. And it came up a hand, let me show you. It came off of this foot on this side. See there where I cut it? Yeah. 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 So how is this helping? He's been okay? Yeah. Why are you shaking, shaking like that? You don't like people touching your ears? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, you got dirty ears. Let's get those dirty ears done. No, 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 now you're gonna shake. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's Okay, buddy. A little ear massage. A little ear massage. Yeah. And then let's go clean your booty. <laughs> Actually, I need to put my gloves on first. What do you put in his ears? That is just a little olive oil. Oh. To loosen okay. everything up because what it is in the ears is just dry skin cells. They produce, you know, sometimes they overproduce skin cells and it gets kind of icky looking inside. Mm -hmm. So the oil kind of heat, heat rehydrates everything and then be becomes much easier to clean it. Okay. Hmm. That's good to know. And we can do that can we go as often that as it needs? Or? Pardon? We can do that kind of often. Does it need it often? Um, it often? You know, if you come here all the time, we will do it for you. But yeah, every time you do his nails, you want to just, you know, check the ears. But the ears, you know, every week should be good. Okay. And there's some pigs that don't need it at all. There, he was pretty clean, other than this little blob. 
And his weenie is all clean. Good boy. There, that was good. It's a good cowboy. It's a good boy. Yeah. And everything else was good. Didn't see any ickies. We haven't seen ickies in a long time, which is very good news. <laughs> they are very contagious. That's ivermectin, which prevents lice, mites, and internal parasites. Okay. And did I check your teeth? <laughs> okay. See, he's got a little bit of food stuck in the bottom of his teeth. Oh, yeah. that it's not stuck, so it's fine. And now I'm going to do his ears. <laughs> He's not going to let me. Okay, buddy. Oh, it's not hurting. It just feels weird. This doesn't hurt. It's just a weird feeling. <laughs> So this is what a clean, nice ear should look like, like this. Okay. Yeah. And his ear, well, if you saw before, it was dry. You see, you kind of see the difference. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so that side might have been worse too, right? Or... Yeah. 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 Why are you weeping? <laughs> wait till you get to what one of the saying? others. What are you saying? Oh, silly. Okay. He got in a fight, huh, when he was a youngster. He got in a scrap. That, that hole in his ear? Oh. Is that oh. That's yep. We got him at the pound, and, and it, it was already there. Yeah. Yeah, we got it's like one of those, like, we thought they might be tagged them. Yeah, 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 they get that. Holes in the ear. And, or some I've seen with completely no ears anymore, because if they live in a crowded situation, and the boys fight, they can just, you know, they always go for the ears. Some, oh. Not always, but they can go for the ears. And then, yeah. you know, it's, it's problematic. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You are a good boy. <laughs> Say bye-bye, everybody. You are a good boy. What's his name? Cal. Cal? Cal. 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 <laughs> C-A-W. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's Say a cat. All right. Um, well, next. You have three males? Yeah. All living yeah. happy? Yeah. yeah. Three, three boys yeah. living happy. Yeah. You've got three Buddha boys. Those uh, two are. Well, um, that's his, uh, the other the one's son. son. Yeah. That, that's the other guy's son. Ah, yeah. okay. Now, it can happen that when he grows up, yeah. that he's going to start asserting his dominance and might decide that he's not liking either his dad or the other guy or both. Okay. And yes. then you may have a problem on your hands. Yeah. That's we not were, unheard of. We were, we were thinking of expanding the cage and getting him a friend when that happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that would be a great idea. For right now, they seem to get along really yeah. well. Yeah, good. And, and maybe so for their life, no, maybe it'll be fine. It's okay. just... Usually not. Mm. <laughs> He's a good boy. He's a good little boy. He's a baby. He's a little baby. Hello, little baby. Yeah. I'm a little baby. He's got like a little mullet in the back. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's a long name. Well, no, he's got a mullet. He's got a little bit of silkiness. Yeah. I love his little silky tail. <laughs> and one of my girls it. has a little bit. He can braid it. <laughs> We can braid it. All right. Well, when they're this young, there's really <laughs> nothing to clean down here. I love the young ones. <laughs> they're easy. So he's good. And then it's he's not good. Home. <laughs> Where's Daddy? Oh, that's Cal again. <laughs> yeah, there's like, it kind of looks like him, but it's big. He's hiding really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's a big daddy. 
You know, they do look alike. Hi, Big Daddy. Hi, Big Daddy. You don't have a... Mama must have had some longer hair or something. Yeah, I think we saw her there. When they the were pound. all at the pound, yeah. I remember her having pretty long hair. <laughs> We just kept it to the boys. <laughs> yeah. Well, those females there would have probably been pregnant. Uh, Whenever they get groups in the shelters, we always try and take the females because they are likely pregnant. Mm. So I'd rather us have to deal with the babies than the public. Yeah. Unexpecting public that is all gonna get the guinea pig and all of a sudden they have 10. Yeah. And then they don't know how to sex on time and you know, yeah. it becomes a bigger problem at that point. So yeah. we, to the point that we've asked the shelters to not adopt out oh, okay. pregnant guinea pigs, which some shelters do let us know and others just don't. Mm. This one's pretty far. It's because it like creates problems for us. Because guess what? Who gets yeah. the call? Yeah. We get the call. Mm. If they if they do that. How are you doing? You're actually really clean too. Yeah. We need cleaning. We're all done. <laughs> it's all done. Yeah, mister. Yeah, little guy. All good. All good. <laughs> okay, you see, well, it's a little uneven on the front, oh, yeah, but that's nothing to really worry about. That'll probably write itself, so I'm not worried about that. Should we keep an eye on it? For... Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll be fine, but you can, yeah, sure. Okay, he's gone, he's done, he's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say goodbye. <laughs> Bottoms checked. You're welcome. Did you need any supplies? Um, I wanted to get some of the vitamin C. And, okay. And then one of the shavings. Okay. So go grab it and then okay. there is a volunteer. Lailani! Lailani, Lailani, Lailana. Lailani, are you leaving? Okay. I'll see you next week. Okay, sweetheart. So Desiree with the combat pants. Okay. Perfect. Cool chick. Thank you. She so will much. help you, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Look, nothing behind me. Wait. But it's empty because that was one of ours. So actually I need to take this out. This is we put the sticker so so we know. It's an outgoing. And the name, Lori and Ursula. <laughs> Lori is a volunteer and Ursula, well, she's a volunteer now too. So this needs to be cleaned out. Let me show you how we do that. Because we have a whole system. So there were piggies in here, right? So I don't want to put new piggies in here. Because if we inadvertently put two males in here, for instance, then we have two unbonded males. Because these, there were females in this cage. So right now, we've already grabbed them, but... You see it's wet here, and that one was just cleaned. So we clean every bin after usage. I'm gonna leave it here, and then someone knows that it needs to be cleaned. And then it goes down there, and we use these to transport the, wow, look at that. the borders. Amazing. See, where they need to go, or pigs that were surrendered. Did we get all surrenders today? We had one this morning and two this afternoon. Yeah. They all did? We got them. They all came? Yeah. And all the borders. Do we have space for everyone? Or is that a silly question? No. See, we even had to put cages. We, we normally don't have cages here, but they are now. And I want to know how much juice I got left. I don't know. I have to see that. How much juice we got left? I'm so terrible. Where's Julia when you need her? <laughs> Where's Julia when you need her? Jules! No, I'm just, I, well, we need to juice up, I think. But if I, if I put the plug in, it's going to tell me how much juice we still have. Huh. 
Maybe the other side. Plug them the other way. I don't know, guys. Uh oh. This is not in there, right? That's why. <gasps> I'm 60%. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so what are you doing? Beds. All right, we're going to follow. We have a whole new system here. And Elizabeth is working on the meds. So Elizabeth, maybe you want to explain how we do the meds okay. and the book and okay. everything and show all that. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to take you a little longer to do meds, but it's, no worries. it's um, you know, it's good to know for people how we do all this. They want to know, right? You guys want to know how we do stuff. We no longer have a med board. We now have a med folder. Binder. Binder, yes. Because Desiree, our new manager, well, she does things differently than uh, the previous manager, Ursula. So, um, you know, and it's important that she gets to do what she feels right. And it, it does work out. It works out nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're all yours. I'm taking okay. a quick break, okay? Yep. So, hello, live. <laughs> um... Yes, I am random. <laughs> so we have a binder with all of our meds. Some of you may have seen this before. Some of you may have not. Have not. So we have the name of our game pig and all the meds they're taking. <laughs> and then I just prepared. <laughs> we'll see how helpful this is. Okay. Hi. Olive, there's a chew yes. card in here that's Olive's card. Can I chew see if, if there's any information oh, left on it? No. Oh, there, there. we go. Okay, see. <laughs> okay, it doesn't say, it doesn't have his age on it or anything. Of course. Okay. Yeah. They love chewing off the important part. <laughs> um, I like So, we now, thankfully... Desiree got us these cute little bins where we put all the meds. I just finished prepping all of the meds for tonight and tomorrow morning. And where did Desiree go? She went inside. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> and if you guys want to come along do, to do meds with me, that would be some fun time and then maybe afterwards when sauce comes back she wants to answer questions or we can do baby cam or whatever you guys would like Oops, sorry so this is all the meds i'm gonna finish putting it away really quickly and then we will actually start giving out meds we our meds what we have. We have Bactrim, Lasix, Vitamin C and Vitamin E, and Medicam. Sorry. Um, no, we don't reuse any syringes. We take out the we use the syringes and then we throw them out once. We distribute the medication. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to see you know where the gas drops are. I didn't see any in there, so no, I think we need to order some more. We have enough for today. Well, I can tell you in the... Okay. So, this is tomorrow morning, so I'm going to set this aside. And then we also have extra gas drops and retention that will go in here. Aside and let's do two days. Do you guys want to come do meds with me? I think you guys are saying yes. Okay. 
Let me just clean up my station before I start doing all this. Oh, I need my binder. Ah, never mind. First pig we are doing. Rue already got his vitamin C and vitamin D. Now he needs his vitamin D for a point. Is there anyone at the front? Waiting for a health check. She don't look very happy. I don't know. She's taking a guy off. Sorry about that life. Let's get Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Do you remember Ruth? Oh, you. Oh, he's the one with the arm. Hello! <laughs> I'm just doing meds with him. Okay, I do have to do meds the other way around. Let's try and figure out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and then what I like to do, just because sometimes if I do get distracted or someone asks me a question and I don't remember where I left off, I put a little check mark right by the name. So, the second I do that, oh, can you open this? Where is the hand? I do a little check mark. Oh, that's right out here. Oh, thank you. I forget. It goes out here on the Okay. Um, now we have, let's see. Congo gets 0.3 ml of A6, which should have been prepared already. A6.3. Perfect. Let's go get Congo. It's not veggie. It's not dinner time yet. I'm just seeing what's wrong with their people. Oh my god, I love you. Here's Pongo. So, Pongo does have se severe arthritis, so we do have to give him some CBD on his feet. OCD? CBD. Oh, I heard you said OCD. <laughs> Did I say OCD? I think you said OCD. No, no. I, I, I heard CBD. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I swear to God, I heard OCD. <laughs> okay, we're going to try this with my left hand so you guys can see. Oh, you don't like this, huh? Why are you all over everybody's head? There we go. Kind of just got... Get it in there. Crazy guy. Let's get some soup. Oh, uh, uh, what did I ask? What? I hate my room. 100%. I'm keeping in the kitchen. <laughs> Anyone know where the adoption forms are at? Hi, friends. <laughs> oh, I need sorry. to do my check mark. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. See what? Where are the adoption forms are at? Oh, um, I do not know it. Are they not at the table? No, I'm going to be blind there. I got my name right, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, and he eats teramycin, but we're all out of teramycin. Really? Mm-hmm. There's that one. That's the one I've been using, but there's no new ones. It's <laughs> Thank you know, on here. It literally says teramycin. It says we need teramycin. Well, we need more to sell, but did you check the door? Okay, we're bringing Pongo back out. <laughs> Pongo. Oh, Hank Hill and Bobby also need teramycin yeah. really badly. I'm doing like pick by pick. I'm only on the second pick. Oh, oh, sorry. I just did. I wanted you to. No, there's more um, teramycin. He needs it on his left eye. 
Can you put optics here on his other eye? Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry, you're not going to make me very much of this? Are Kate and Bobby related? I got it. Yeah. No. <laughs> We just, <laughs> no. they're not related. No, Hank and Bobby are not related. Medicam is meloxicam. It's just another name for it. For One of them is like, I think, I don't know, the brand or something. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm like drinking in the camera. My cup's all covering the camera. <laughs> Checked him off. We need baby. Sure, if Soxby has made a video on her. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, what do you need? You need back to mm. I'm sorry. And then you also Why need is it here? 15 of Medicam. <laughs> Why is what here? The adoption papers, I think. Oh. <laughs> Medicam. Sorry, I am right handed, so I do bends the other way around. My baby, it's okay, it's okay. And then we no. do vitamin C in the morning, so you don't need that. And then you need point three. Let's try and do it this way. Hi, baby, I'm sorry. Can you take this one? Oh, you're such a good girl. Move the camera. This is baby. Oh, move the camera to the other side. Unfortunately, it's charging right there, so I can't move it to the other side. But I'll try and do this this way so you can see it. And then right now I'm going to do fungal feet, so I'm going to put some gloves on so we don't spread that to anyone. So when applying fungal feet cream, remember to also get the pop, the bottom, but also the top and in between their toenails. Because I see a lot of times for fungal feet, all the crusties are in between the toes. Where's what? Oh. Oh, Allison found them. She's inside taking a break. I'm sorry, I don't mind. 
All right, so I've got somebody working on the pellets. They're okay. making more bags. Do we need to sell? Yes, if they're both containers or both bins are completely empty. Oh, wow. You have me a little massage, spa day. Okay. Just one more. Okay. Who'd you bring today? Nobody. Uh, I had a dentist appointment. So. Ah, okay. Can, next week. Let me go to Lavanda. Next week's okay. gonna be 90. Say bye to Lavanda. Mm -hmm. mm. And then we're gonna take off our gloves because I want to cross the campaign. Sandra, what do you need? You need point three of lace. There we go. She might not be happy about this. Okay, I'm stealing the camera. Go ahead. Hi guys. I'm sorry. I was stealing. I'm a stealer. <laughs> I got really busy all of a sudden, including a gentleman who wants to surrender. He's leaving, going to another country, and there's a language barrier, so I'm gonna. Hi! I'm Allison. Oh, okay. I'm Saskia. This is Saskia, our director. Hi. So, how old are your boys or girls? Um, actually, like two years. Mm -hmm. Is it a boy or a girl? Uh, this one's a boy, then there was a girl. Okay. Have, were they living together? Uh, yeah. They were? Okay. They were. And he's not neutered? Uh, sorry? Neutered? Like, um, like he still has his balls and stuff? Oh, actually, Well, you I can just take a look. Okay. He is infected. Oh, wow. This is the boy? Uh, girl. This is, no, that's, this is that's a boy. This is a boy. Oh. Yes. So then that's probably a boy, too. Yeah. That's a boy. Okay. Ew. He's got something going no, on too. Not. And they don't, he doesn't look very healthy. Oh. Okay, so let's get them in. Okay. And so I'll get, get you the um, surrender form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is not good. All right, we have to take these two because they're not good. Oh man, like we, we have no space. Hi, kiddo. Okay. Oh, boy. Not surrendered. Okay, where are the standard forms? This is border liability. 
Why do people move things from their location? Because they use them. Oh, you know what? We gotta surrender. Never and I put, I you know put that? it on underneath. I know, it does seem like it's underneath the ground. Such much information. Education. There's so, so much education online. I got was almost. Is she? No excuse. I'm not too sorry. I'm getting you out. Oh, it is ours because we brought the name cards. We've been on all the news channels. Like. I don't know. That's so weird. I don't know what more. So, is it okay if I start with those two? Yeah, I absolutely. just want them yeah. Yeah, yeah, help yeah. them because they seem. I want to see what's going on. They don't look good at all. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna bring you guys down. Yeah, okay, baby boy. <clears throat> I'm coming. There's one, one more. Was... Where's the other one? Oh, it's still on the. Brian, yeah, would you mind grabbing there. that one? It's still there? There's another pig in there? Yep. Absolutely. Whose pig is this? Is yours? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh goodness. Look at this. How? Have they, have they had ivermectin in a while? Uh, How did this happen? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Uh, did they just the, get so wet? The girls in the back. I think did the he get oh, so okay. wet because he was in a box with a plastic bag? Sorry, I gotta smell this. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really stinky. It's not good. Who is that? Uh, this is an unexpected surrender and he's not in good shape. Oh no. Unexpected surrender. Yeah. Poor piggy. It's not in good shape at all. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'd love for him to have a bath. I can tell you that. Um, they must have soft poop because one has this giant piece of soft, clumpy poop stuck. Let me see if I have parasites. Come here. Come here. Come here, little guy. I know, I know, I know. And how old did he say they were? He has no idea. He, he doesn't know anything about them. He doesn't even know. Does he, where did he get them? Can you ask him? Yeah. Um, I swear to God. These guys will not be surprised if they had lice. That's pretty clean down there, though. Yeah. But yours, he needs a bath. He's getting a bath today. So this is probably from sitting in that nasty bag. Yeah. So what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna actually I actually don't want to do anything until he's had a bath. How's that? And get some of the icky poop out. Yeah, he said he had them for two months and he got them from Petco. He's young. He got them with his Was friend. he a baby when he got them? Ask um, him, was he a youngster? He doesn't... If they got him from Petco, he's probably uh, like oh, yeah. a month he's or two when they got him. No, they're not. The back no, ones aren't. because his friend I'd got them and they decided to take care of them together. Hey, and his friend's not available. Okay, who's going to wash this guy for me? I will wash him. Okay. Like a bath, like a yeah, full bath? bath? Full bath. You can clean his pocket out while you're washing. Okay. Uh, and his wiener too while you're washing. I used to do that all the time. And then I'll take a look at the other guy who needs a bath too. And then I'll do... Skinny, you want to syringe? No, he probably just needs food. Like normal food. Yeah, no, I think it's fine. Just get him real nice and dry. And then I can do the proper health check. Because right now with all that wetness and urine going on, it's just... He's probably so uncomfy. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Yeah, she's going to bite you. She's going to bite you. They're going to neighbor jinx. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what's going on with you? Look at his feet. So they both have, yeah, look at the top of his feet. His feet are swollen. Yeah. From, I think probably from the amount of wetness and stuff they've mushed with them. Look at his front feet. Look how swollen he is. Yeah, well, that is also a big chunk of poop on this side. Look at this. Oh, but look at the top of his paw. Look at them, that big chunk of poop here that's stuck on his foot. Let me have this whole your seems kind of look at those toes. 
Oh yeah, that's all poop that's stuck. No, but I, no, look at the top of the toes. Oh, I know. It's really and thick and boring. red and ouchy. And look, there's no hair even on here on the toes. It's all pink. It's all ouchy. What happened to you, boys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he too has a horrendous, horrendous. Look oh, at this. look at that. That was the impression I did earlier. That's like the impression I had earlier. Can you uh, film this for me? Where is the phone? Oh my goodness. Elizabeth's doing meds, and then I forget what's her name. Um, you can doing, start. Go ahead. It's doing hay pellets water. Okay. And adoption area is getting cleaned up. Okay. It's actually Hey, come on. And this there was poor guy. One I didn't so tear down the last one. I was going to make sure if we had any more adoptions over here. And I'm going to go back. We're not. One big, huge impaction. That came out of Is anybody mama. free to do health checks? Yeah, can Holy we have cow. some adoptions yeah. that are trying to get out of here? Okay. Holy cow. Um, I was just double checking to see if we had any other expected adoptions. Oh, I can fall. Yep. Or if they're all done. That must feel better. We have and that's because two, this is all soft. 2 30 on here that wasn't. And there's more in here, so it may be. No, that's 12 30. Come on, okay. sweetheart. It's okay, sweetie. Let me this just get you really cleaned up real good. Okay. Okay. I don't see any more. I have one last one set up over there. I can do. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Unbelievable. You can see, I don't know how they, how they live, but obviously they both have soft poop um, that has gone and attached to the nails. So this is something we need to take off. I, don't, I wonder if they've been on wire or something. I mean, I just don't know how they, how they came to be in this state. Okay, very sad, but we'll fix them up. Yeah. Are you done with them? No, I'm still using them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh we forgot to take a photo. We gotta uh, remember this. It. Is we'll, it still... uh, we'll um snap. I can snap one from anywhere. Okay. Okay. Like when you're removing yeah, it. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, we can actually we can still do this. Do yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm gonna roll it. Taking a photo, guys. Thank you. My sweetheart. I'm Question, so sorry. The, do we still use the little pink mm -hmm. bottles for the nebulizer? Oh, oh um, the saline? It's not anymore gentamicin. Are these it? Yeah, no, no, that's all the thing. We are out. But we're now, probably have some on Monday again. This is a sodium solution. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need the actual Someone's drug. We're out of the drug. Oh, so, oh, because we would yeah. put like the little bit Dump and then we would yeah. also yeah. Yeah. put this. Mm -hmm. Put some gloves on. Yeah, yeah. There's some icky stuff. Should put it on the side. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to see it better. <laughs> oh. Harley. <laughs> Harley. <laughs> He's happy today. There's something going on with Harley today. Here, put some gloves on when you do that, because it's icky. It's all icky. I'm not messing up my manicure with that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Excuse me. Well, that's not why I'm, what I meant. <laughs> hey, that's definitely on, not what I meant. Come on, boy. So, yeah, here we are. This happens, so... I feel like I have the mentality of a mom. And here we were thinking that we <laughs> got... wash my hands. <laughs> that we're going to have a nice, easy day. How's Piggy? She's, um, the one with the thing on her neck, apparently it was an abscess. We had it spiny the last time. A weird spot abscess. Yeah, very weird spot abscess. Yeah, apparently it was an abscess. Oh, it's hard to drain. Wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah. news. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We had one that passed yesterday. We believe it was due to uterine cancer. She was very old. Old lady? Yeah. Aww. And we had one that passed. I don't know if it was Ooh, a sister okay. or a nice. stroke, but snack All in one week? Probably two weeks. Maybe a week and a half between the two. Wow, I'm so sorry. But, you know, at the end of every chapter, there's another one, right? Oh, poor guy. All right, let's get your ears cleaned out before your bath. Because your brother's going to take a little while. Oh, we got no more. No more Q-tips. Okay, you might have to go and get some. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I mean, we still don't need more, though. There you go. I didn't, did, I didn't do his weenie yet. I'm going to still do that part. Fresh thing. Yeah. Oh, we were hoping that we that was it, that we were, you know, had a kind of, we made it through the day. And then mm -hmm. these two walk in. Just horrendous. So sad. I don't. I just. I just don't. I, I don't know how. How. How they got to be like this. I just don't get. That, that oh, is what is I don't. Eating lettuce. I was like, I hear lettuce being chopped. <laughs> I was so yeah. Pretty good, but they need to be on charcoal. Yeah. Okay. Um, because they both have serious really soft, 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 soft tissue. They probably have had a really bad diet. I feel like people who don't know anything about taking care of their pigs will just feed them like fruit when they feed them something fresh. Okay. Linky done. How do you want me to clean this food? This Linky is done. Oh. Because I, I saw sausage. Yeah, I saw sausage the last time. Do you want to do it again? Do what? Do what? Yeah. Clean flush this it. wound. She can practice on it. Uh, it's a relatively simple one to flush, so I can show her. And she can, she's comfortable doing it. It's Ulysses. Remember, he has the back, the back little... There's also just a line. Okay. Show me. Y'all remember him. Oh, now you of remember him. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So oh, she, she can flush it, right? Because you gotta take that off. Mm -hmm. You gotta take it off. Oh, it's still filling back up. Yeah, so you just gotta take it off, and then we gotta ew. flush ew, it out. Ew, okay, good. I'm doing it with my so, bare hands. Ew. So take. <laughs> <laughs> so take. Oh, um, God, I can feel the pus. <laughs> take a gauze. Dipped in betadine. betadine, and then you kind of rub it over that area to loosen it and get all that mm -hmm. scabbing off. Well, and it already then, came off. It, and then it comes off can, so readily. Yeah, because you've seen me do it. Mm -hmm. But he's looking better. And then that flush. Looking yes. a lot the flush. Uh, with the syringe, with the syringe. dental syringe, yeah. Betadine, but like it's like. Okay. So we're waiting for the other guy to be washed. I'm gonna see a different Look at Elizabeth egg. growing up. She's doing her own flushing. I know. I'm so proud. <laughs> she was so, like, I was like, you're comfortable doing it? She's like, yeah. Yeah, so I'm here for waiting because I don't really want to do anything until he had a bath. These two. Okay, so I can leave you. Uh, you know what? Can we get a, uh, a, um, a basket yeah. so we can check? Can you take those? You can check them. <laughs> Thank you, so yeah, good. bye, Jenny. You don't need anything hey, else. Right thank here, you right? so much. Hey, little guy. Your brother's getting blood blood dried. I hear it. Yeah. Oh, I have one over here. Your little brother's getting blood dried. So we're gonna wait till uh, this little bro comes back, then he's gonna have his bath, and then hopefully gonna look a lot better already, and we're gonna get the poop off the feet. In fact, I could do, try, get all the, the really big one. I can try, because it's, it's it's so caked on that, it's, that one bath is not gonna soak it. So I can always have to manhandle those <clears throat> big clumps of dry poop in order to get them off. 
So why don't we all, oh, thank you, Vicky. So why don't we go and have a look if I can maybe do that for him. If he'll let me. Where's the big clump? Here. Look at this huge clump of poop. Nice big spur here too. So I literally have to cut into the clump. Okay. I do disinfect my tools, so don't freak out. And when you do this, you have to be careful that you don't, you know, cut into the nail. So you've got to kind of figure out where the nail would be. Do we know if they live together or not? We, no. We do not. We do not. I would say that they do. Okay, okay, yes, 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 you're looking nummy, nummy. Here, boo boo. Good boy. No, 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 no. Just cut the poop off. Yes, this is the only way to do it. And then the nail underneath is likely damaged. Yeah. You got nasty because stuff it's clean, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a horse. It's been encased in feces. <laughs> No, I'll okay, thing. sweetie. Mm. Oh, no. I think all that in there. That's so good. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. Give me some more lettuce. Get him distracted. So yeah, look at like, He had a bunch office. of hair wrapped around. Gross. We took it off. He's good. I want to make sure you oh. guys can see. There it is. I know, here. Almost forgot. No, yeah, not my first rodeo on this one. I'm just Nasty, right? Working it. Like that. Yep. We're That part is not even coming off that easy. Oh. Wow, he still has his toe. Good job, Bubba. That is amazing. There, that one gone too. The pressure of it like drying and casing yes. around it must really like cut off blood circulation. Do they still need their health check? Their yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Yeah, and don't worry guys, I am gonna wash my hands. But it was around his foot. One toe. One toe. That's what happens when they have diarrhea or suck poop and they step in it and then it dries and they step in the next bottle and it dries and then they step in the next one and then before you know it, all feet are covered. Like with these guys. You're standing weird too. I have a feeling these are older pigs that were maybe like adoptions at Petco. You know and how they will do adoptions for older pigs yes. that were returned? They, they, they give them up basically. They like someone take them. <laughs> you can have the stuff that they were surrendered with. Because this nail is yeah, so, so big. 
too, honestly. Oh, thirsty. He was he probably so, feels so much better. He was so thirsty, I literally had to hold him up to the faucet for him to drink. Oh, he was, really? Like, he was just, yeah, water. he just wanted water. Okay, well, let's give you... He's let's looking you, so much better. Oh, and hold him. him quickly Let me just make thing. this a little cleaner. I should dry him a little bit more, but I wanted you to finish the health check. Oh. Uh, well, mm. I'd rather you dry him completely. How do you, how do you think he feels? He, I don't want him to getting cold. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I can continue with his nailsies. He is viciously hungry too. For some fresh veggies. Okay, we're in this one. I need this one for this one. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. Alright. You want the rest of your pizzas? He's got the beginning of Bumblefoot. That's no. what I was the other one yeah. has a little bit of a bloody paw, a little bit, but Jeez, that might be covering some bumble. Yeah. You guys see this one? Mm -hmm. You can see this. This here. That is also covered in poop, but it could be like a bumble. It looks foot. pretty swollen. It looks like it's got Where that the poop base. is stuck, so I can't take that off because it might be. It might gush blood. It might Literally. Gush, gush <laughs> blood, exactly. It might be covering up an open, an open wound. Yeah. And this one, oh, gosh. So it needs to soak and see what happens with it, yeah. Look at this one. So, the same here. I can't do anything with that because that is can be dangerous if I just start to, you know, yank Try. at it. Yeah. And that would not be good. So we're going to have to soak that and hoping that their damage underneath is not that bad. Yeah. The other one didn't have poop stuck mm -hmm. all the whole base of the front call like that. So that worries me a little bit. That one in particular, because yeah, the let me see if ankle I can looks cut. a little swollen. You see that? Oh yeah, this is completely swollen. But this could also be from, you know, maybe they were sitting. I don't know what their bedding was. We don't know. I can't cut this okay, so part off. It could off. be bedding too. Yeah. This part I can't cut because it's loose. Oh gosh. Well, might as well then, because this is loose too. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh yeah. I'm. What I'm doing is I'm trying to a health check or an outcome. Remove. Oh goodness. See the poops here. We is are these your health checks, right? Yeah. For your health checks too. Did you? You'll see the poop that's stuck in here. No, it was just not post. Not from adoption. There might be some. Oh, you got there. That's right. See, so it is outgoing. That's how I need to know. Outgoing adoption. And when it's like this, the best way to get this off is kind of just with your fingers. And it's not the most comfortable for the piece, but it's the most effective. You could tell it. Let me see. There. Oh, sure, good baby. Okay. I think you are ready for your bath. Okay. Okay, can we switch? Oh. Allison. Oh. This one too? Yep. Okay. You take him. I took care of his um, pocket honestly, already. Honestly, I could not clean his pocket too well because he was wiggling a little bit. Oh, that's water, fine. But... I, will, I will do that. Oh, is the nails like that from fungal? No, that's uh, poop. Susky, yeah. Not the poop, but like You're the thickness. You're going to for me because I don't like the way that he's taking a long time to chew and the way that I feel the grinding. You know when I feel the grinding? Yeah. I have my finger, my hand, my finger on the mandible in the back of my throat. Yeah. And I can feel a lot of excessive grinding. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. He's eating. He's getting it down, but he's slower. Yeah. Might just be well, sometimes in, they're in an emaciated state as well. They you overgrow. Know, yeah. Overgrow. Okay. So we can have a better look at him now. Now that he's he looks so much better. Oh. He's up. We watched it. Same guy. Same guy. Look how nice he looks now. He's so better. He don't feel so icky no more. Oh. 
He's a teddy, right? He looks like a hundred times an better animal. already. And he must have been so, so dirty. I didn't do his ears. So I should do those Filthy. More. Worse than any pig I've seen in a long time. Well, I think he was so wet because he was on a plastic bag in that little bag. Yeah, and I don't know how it. far the guy came, but he must have just peed. Well, I'm pretty sure. I just saw him leave in a very nice car, <laughs> which makes me a little upset when you can't take care of your animals, but you can take care of yourself and have nice things for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Is there a donation left? I don't think so. Can you check on the floor? Oh yeah, thank you. Oh, honey, you must be feeling so much better. Yes. Yeah. So much better. Poor piggy. away in a very nice new BMW. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe he thought he was doing us a favor. Cause or a rescue. We're a big rescue. <laughs> right. He was donating guinea pigs to her. <laughs> That's funny. This is what they live for, right? That's funny. Oh, poor uh, Pinky. That's a okay. That's not a good one. You got we have to make. We have to laugh at some point because it just no, gets frustrating otherwise. Yeah. We don't laugh. Yeah. Guinea pig police, remember? No. No, we have to laugh at some point because it's oh, you can't be healthy. Place. Your mental health can't be healthy if you let it weigh you down every time. You gotta let. What are called the guinea pig Water off duck's back. We will now take care of them, and they're in the right place now. That's where I went today. So look, that, oh, look, he's got, like it? Yeah, very good. Right. Look his feet. That's I told you, I saw can that with tell between her the to poop. Not, can you tell her to not, not scrape take it off, off the yes. things? Um, go, can you go I tell her right you. now? I said that that paw was bleeding a lot. Well, yeah, of course. That's where I went this morning. Oh, yeah? Okay. Very good. Fix the problem the old guy did. Okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. Just a nail clip. Just a nail clip, baby. That's funny. Where was that located? Just Perfect. curious. Here. Oh, you, you mean the last one? Is? No, the, the place that... That I went to today? He's yeah. in Beverly Hills. But he's much better than the last guy. I hate going to the dentist. This guy's good. See his feet? See this, his nails? This guy's good. Uh, You're looking so much better, little man. He looks like a whole new piglet. Yes, you do. Can I see your front teeth real quick? Well, that's uneven. I can fix that. A yeah, little so bit she, of alcohol. We'll soak it later, but she, she's just going to get this in a little bit. Yeah. This. I know. I'm sorry. Can you stop eating for just one second? Will you let me do this? Will you You're let me so do right. this? Sorry. Oh, Can you hold it from the, the back for me? 
Mom. I know. Such a mean mom. He's just got an uneven front seat tooth that I need to just trim so that. Yeah, but it's... doesn't that belie maybe something else going on in the back? No, just because they're uneven, they're not. Because I feel, look, feel. No, he's fingers, eating fine. But put your fingers where I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Is it just because he's emaciated? Yeah. And I'm just feeling it over yeah. the muscle mm -hmm. of the bone. Yeah, he's eating fine. He's eating just fine, thank God. Because he was going a little slow at first, but I think he was just overwhelmed by all the fresh food. Yeah. So give him some liquid, and then later we'll give him some other more nutritious food with some more. Yeah. I do. I want to wait. I can't wait to see them go bright. Yes. Oh, we didn't give them any CBD. How do we forget the CBD? <clears throat> How do we forget our CBD? This it's got the fatty stuff here, but it feels like it's more further lumpy further up in okay, here. Okay, let me let me have a feel. And she's also got a crusty bone. She's supposed to be an outgoing adoption, but she's got soft boopies. Oh, okay. Watch him. Mm -hmm. Charcoal. She pooped a bunch of soft ones. I wiped them up with a napkin. Um, which cage does she come from? I don't know. I don't know which one she is. Because I didn't do her adoption. Okay, let me ask Desiree about her, okay? If you don't go to the dentist, um, you can have cavities and then it, your teeth can fall out. So it's better to go, like, at least twice a year. They even caught my um, sleep apnea. Too. Oh. So it's, he's really good. It's fun to the last guy didn't care. Like, nice guy, but whatever. Just didn't care. How you did? How do you feel? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, fix okay. the last joker that messed me up. Okay. Oh, well, these are not murky. There you go. Very good. Here's a bar. Come over here so I can see you. Yeah, there we go. He's still chowing down. This eye actually looks brighter already. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling a little better? Are you like revitalized from the lips? Yep, yep. It's got agua. It's got vitamins. The old boy is really yes. on my heart strings yes. always. Yep. 
That one right there. Yeah. Okay. And so that lump underneath her arm. Oh. I mean, mostly it feels like a fatty tumor, but then when you reach further up, it feels more connected, more more solid. No. It's still it's still the, just the fatty. Okay. You're okay. still eating good. You're eating good. Are you guys watching the meat? So sorry, I gotta run around and, and get a few things. Someone needs to babysit this little guy for me. Or if the, his cage is ready, he can go in his cage. Guys, anyone listening? Well, I can go the cage. Yeah, but he, someone needs to stand here and watch him that he doesn't. Stand in front of that pig. <laughs> is that to little Tater? Yes, I told oh. you. I, when I held her, I fell in love too. She's one of those things that she's one I of those. Cuddling she's, with her it's on one Sunday. of those things where, like, that animal, you hold her and then she's you're hers. Okay, so <laughs> we are doing a video on this little girl. Mm -hmm. Where'd she come from? From Pico. She was a sick pack of a pig that the organization picked up and a, a dog organization oh, yeah. said, "Listen, what? one of their volunteers oh, said so that guinea pig there doesn't look oh. good, looks sick." No. So they went that to pick one. it up and brought it straight here, and, and we said so she's sick. And then I have a uh, doctor so Nan looking at her, so saying yeah. she's sick. And she was just purchased. We had the receipt and everything, and the store said she's fine. But that's what we hear all the time. Uh, but I did a video on this one, so that'll be fun. That'll be fun, where the doctor says she is sick. Um, okay, watch this little guy while I get some other stuff for these doctors. Hello. Okay, I will. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, I know, I know. He's nibbling on me. Oh, your turn. Your turn. Let's see. Oh, oh no. I just should not touch this. Sorry, it's crooked at the moment. But this is a little skinny. Let's give you some lettuce. Do we have some lettuce? Want some lettuce? Mm -hmm. Of course you want some lettuce. Fighting my fingers, you want the lettuce? You're so cute. Oh, I really like Poor Peggy. Oh, I I want her. Yes. That's poor Peggy. Who's Pegasus? He just went through out. At least you're safe. The live being crooked bothers me, but I know if I try to change it, I'm probably going to make it worse. I can put the piggy in my hoodie. Okay. It's fine. I know. You love the hair. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You can order it on any
Hi, little man. We're gonna go check if your house is ready. Shall we go check? He and he needs a surrender. Ah, oh, terrible state. You see, they all got the beginning of Bumblefoot. I mean, they're all they're a mess. And the other one's getting a bath right now. So she, I'm hoping that your his cage is ready so he can go and have dinner with the others. And this is what we do. Yeah, it makes me happy today. I'm very happy because we got to, you know, relieve their suffering because they were suffering. You had it right. When people are just totally ignorant, you know? I can't be mad at the guy. I just can't. It's probably total ignorance. Not knowing how to do, what to do. Very sweet boy. Yes, very sweet boy. You want cookie? You want cookie? Okay. Did you like veggie grill today? Yes, I do. Oh, you do. Okay. So Ooh, please, veggie um, grill. <laughs> yeah, please order it soon. Uh, ooh, ooh, as soon ooh. as possible. No, you gotta eat it here. No, no, don't know with my finger. Wow, and they're starving. Can you can you chew that? Come on. Um, you know, I, I kinda have to hold this guy, unless you wanna hold him for me. Okay, while um, I order. Let me put my mask on now. Oh, that is good, huh? Oh my goodness, he's going crazy for it. Veggie grill, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Here. Um, Kiwi doesn't do the medicine. He only wants the day. Morning. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, this is Kiwi. No meds in the evening, just in the morning. Hi, baby. You're so pretty. And then let everybody watch him eat your cookie while I go and see who, how the other guy's doing. Oh, you got him. You got him. Okay, good. Where's the... Oh, yeah, I'll take that. You got it? Yeah, for the cage, for the okay. new piggies, I'll take it. All right. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go... Uh, do, you, do you want anything from Veggie Grill? Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to put it back. Come on, That's okay. Hey, okay. 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 Well, he's peeing. Pretty cool. Did you pee on my jeans? Yeah, you did. That's what happens. You get peed on. Well, thank you. I'm happy you peed. Yeah, they just kind of fight between the cages. They can't really treat each other, but... Okay, but it's like a constant... Just, uh... Can stay on it. And yeah, then that there were two borders in that same spot. It is a happy thing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I 
Yeah, yeah. Those two were fighting. I, I, I mean, I heard it once. It, that was a sound of dress, and then it was I'm glad down. he's eating. That's good. And that was it. Right? No, the top. I love him. Is, uh, he's so cute. I know. There is a it's like little cookie on my hand. That's his buddy, right? Mm hmm. You know I made up a bin for them. And then we didn't need the bin. Do they have their cage up? <gasps> oh Did my god! Up? It's him on my shirt almost. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. Um, what sauce do you want me to Yeah, you can tell they felt so much better food. after that bath, yeah, both of them. <laughs> but if you want to see his bumble foot. Guys, are you making a cage up for those yeah. piggies? This one fell off. <laughs> Hold on, I can't really show the <laughs> the resonation on there your you face. <laughs> it's the start of Bumblefoot, but this side, the poop and all that stuff is still on it. I just have to kind of wait for it to fall off. Definitely looks like an open wound down there, though. We should give him vitamin C. Uh, put him on vitamin C. I just want to finish this cookie. Yeah, yeah, no. This is a vitamin C cookie. Yeah, when I was holding them, like, in the bath, they were both, like, drinking water, like, from the, the faucet, like, as if they haven't drank in them forever. I never, um, syringe that ever since. Give his buddy a cookie. He's been eating on his own a lot, you know. Yeah. You know how many what? How many what? Oh, I don't know how to make the. Yeah. Um, do you think it's too hard for you? No, you got it. Easy, great. Yeah, that's fun. Exactly right, Joy. I've never had piggies do that, but they are. Okay. Oh, oh, once they finish, we can put them in that one. Because I did not finish this yet. I was on oh, oh, sorry. I was on uh, hang my phone. He mm-hmm. needs back to it. No, because it's not lower. They're actually very skinny. He just looks chonky because he's so fluffy. He finished his cookie. Yay. Okay, I'm going to put down. Okay. I'm watch him eat. Oh, sorry, buddy. Ooh, that was a good game. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you can oh, tell. Oh, dang. That, that was, was a good a, feed. I didn't feel it. Yeah, thank you. I did their baths. Got my pants all wet, but it's worth it. Yeah, I'm doing this immediately in the laundry. Right. Because I know, don't they have like a buddy. Is that a good cookie? She squirms. She's She squirms. Yeah. I love them. This isn't doing it. I'm just, it's okay. <laughs> Karaoke? Yeah, this is the only way I'm going to learn to tell the difference. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I know when I first started working here, I think like every time I do a bath, my I was just so like so so. It took some practice to not take a bath with them. Yeah, I, I, oh my god, Hank Hill? Yeah, if you go under the rainbow, Heidi. Right. Well, I had her just checking that he I just had her check the other one. But it feels so fibrous. Yeah, I feel, so fibrous yeah, I feel like fine. Thomas with the vitamin C cookies, right. it's like a hit or miss. Either they love them or they're just not interested. But it's okay. It's probably better if you need vitamin C to do the liquid rather than the cookie. Oh, yeah, like waterproof aprons would actually be a perfect idea or yeah, something. Yeah. Okay. We're going to give them some nice, unique names because I'm all about that, the unique names. Hank Hill? Yes. He needs his spectrum and teramycin. <laughs> he is digging this cookie. I've asked her so many times about feelings exactly like that. Because I've been like you a little bit on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Right. I've had pigs die yeah. down my shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> I've gotten like these summers here yeah. in the early days, like 2019, 2019, like <laughs> when we were washing in the back. Ooh, that's a good we used to wash them in, in yeah, and when, and when it'd be like 130 degrees, and you'd just be grateful to get sopping wet with the pig. <laughs> okay. You got a little more, buddy. What? I'm just looking at the Yes. Yeah, that's a pussy call. Okay. Now. Where did my syringes go? Okay. They're in <laughs> I just them. I just they're in that. They're, they're in that drawer. Too. Literally, they've been there the whole time. I just refilled that cup too for some I did not see that drawer. <laughs> Okay. I'm missing the okay. No more? You want to go to bed? No. I guess she's There's done. She's going to Evangeline. Mama, why are you so big? Do you need to know where she's at? Yes. She's in the above yeah. the okay. cage. Okay. And Bobby. <laughs> I didn't make um, him a card, so right. uh, uh, okay. I got you. Yes, okay, they're gonna go into their cage now with their um, hay and their water and their veggies. So, so like his buddy is um in his cage already. They, we just got it set up and everything. They're gonna be on fleece because of their bumblefoot. So, Larry Finley or Marsh Marshall. That's cute. Oh, his buddy. That is buddy. No, that's not. Buddy. That is not but his buddy. That's a female. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's post pregnancy. Or. Hi, buddy. Oh, he already looks like a guinea pig now. He needed a bath. That water, guys, was like gray, like dirty. Yes. We'll update you guys on them. We'll see. We actually, I think we've had a Leo like recently, so I'm gonna probably come up with some weird name that no one likes, but I don't care. Okay, I need to get the bow. Okay. Oh, bye, buddy. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, you're okay. weird name. I'm choosing Aatrox from League of Legends. Because I promised You're my choosing boyfriend. Ajax? Aatrox. Oh, Aatrox. Wait, is Aatrox, Aatrox. the... From... Oh, League of Legends. It's a League of Legends. I promised my boyfriend I would name a guinea pig that. Do you play oh, that's hi! Right. Mika Michaela! Hello! Michaela's there! Oh, um, hey, are we done with... Is that... Um, yeah, that's fine. Because, um... Anyway. Can we move uh, What's the other one, Sam? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Another match name, though. Another, match right, another, another weird League of Legends name. Anyone else play League of Legends? <laughs> Give me some champion names. Um, I'm thinking. Did we move this way? Huh? I put... She's up there. Achilles? Oh, I named somebody another pig, um... Apollo and Atlas, so Achilles was on my list, so I like that one. Achilles. 
I did. I did a lot of Greek names. I love I'm all about the Greek, Greek names. names. And, I, and then I did the Roman gods too. Oh, the Roman versions yeah. Too. We have an Orpheus and Eurydice right now. Yes. I do, enjoy, I do enjoy. Okay, so my dad raised me like reading like the Greek mythology to me. Like that's Foster what he like, commented. Me. Learning to be first. Yeah. Ajax. Is it no, nothing. <laughs> okay, we're doing Aatrox and Achilles. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like that. Um, a wild dog? It doesn't taste bad. Yeah. Okay, who wants some shavings? <laughs> dirty shavings. Dirty shavings that come with the poop and in it. The poop yeah, comes I guess free. As much as I. No, I want Aatrox, sorry. We're saving Ajax for someone else. Vivian, you also get gas. Okay. Um, a key, uh, not, what am I saying? Saskia's coming back now. Boop and Snoot is a cute one for her pair. Saskia's coming back now? Yeah, she commented somewhere. Where are you, Saskia? Are you watching up, up. Okay. She was watching. Right there. Veggie Grill ordered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got fries. Um, she's back. Oh, yeah, I'm back. back. Okay. Bobby, where are we at? Where are we at? He's next to Hank Hill. He's in Bobby is next to Hank Hill. That's the right thing. What? That's probably why he's watching. Lots of activity. End of the day. Everybody's eat eating. Did we see the sheepy babies yet? Yes. Oh, did they see them? Oh, I tried that video and they are. Oh, I know. With? Have them have them all eat? Yeah. In a row? Oh, yeah. They are at the really wiggly age now. <laughs> they were trying to leap out of my hand. Yeah. You see Zai? Bobby. What? Because they can sure it's not like the female. I eat. Your female is I eat. The female is Such a Bobby. mess, oh, this guy. It's Bobby. It's Bobby. Bobby. It's Bobby. It's Bobby. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a bullet boy. Why are we doing all the female names? That's my <laughs> little baby. I love him. Teddy! How do I? Wait, don't make that Come on now, dude. No. Wait. If I that one's straight and that one's straight and I did it. I did it. Okay. He looks old to be Bobby. I his He is like ancient. How old? How ancient? He's one of the North Cowboys. He's like five. Five? Okay. Yeah. Bobby. We'll say I'm about clean designs. This is my boy. Bobby. Oh. Bobby. Uh, so boy. they all are like white Americans. Okay, white Americans with chewed up ears. He actually looks like he might have a little bit of hair. I'm going to escape the madness. I'm going to sit on my spot. Maybe there's a better spot. I don't know. I'll just go back to my old spot. Right here. This is my spot. <sighs> Hi, everyone. Whew. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> wow, that was a crazy, crazy, crazy day. Unbelievable. Like everyone showed up actually who made an appointment, which normally a lot of people, hi Michaela, a lot of people don't show up, make an appointment. But today it seemed like everybody showed up, <laughs> which, you know, is good, but it's like, phew. and thankfully we had a lot of volunteers today. So that was good. And then those two little boys showing up in the end. Oy. Oh, you coming? That's great. That's great, Michelle. That's fantastic. Hey, we have our um, a new live coming up on Friday. This is coming Friday, actually. It uh, starts at 1 or 2 o'clock our time. I'm going to do the... Um, the graphic for it i'm gonna do that either tonight or tomorrow so yeah get ready for that um i thought it would be a good time round two because the other coast is like it's already four there or five or you know and then we can just ease into it and then we'll do a marathon and nobody's happy with the marathon but me <laughs> i'm like no we're gonna keep going because it's still we want to buy stuff and they're like dropping dead and they're like no i'm tired <laughs> but um it's hard to keep up with me because i'm always just racing and doing stuff and you know but uh yeah that'll be fun and i know a lot of people have been asking about it and so 
that'd be fun. We still haven't figured out the donate button. Um, we're, we're getting there. The donate button on Facebook that kind of all of a sudden magically disappeared. And it happened around the same time that they started um, changing into Meta Corporation. So they, and everything changed. Like, I'm not gonna switch and everything looks different and weird and I got a business page and it's just all, it's odd. I don't know if any of you who use Facebook have trouble with it, but I do. And so that, that whole button just disappeared. So I think I figured out what it is. It took a long time to get a hold of someone, but when we originally set up the page, I don't think we set it up as a non-profit organization, which we obviously are, but they have now excluded us because we need to change the page to a non-profit organization. So I got to sit down and figure that out. Hi, Joy. Is that right? Yeah, well, it's a silly. It's horrible because it's tough. It's so tough. So now I've got to figure that out. But at least I'm talking to someone, which is also great because it's amazing to even try and get a hold of anyone. There's no, you can't call them up. Um, so hopefully that'll be back because that has set, that has cost us a lot in donations because it's been like, what, two months now? We haven't had donations. And then usually, you know, if we have some special case or something or a special surgery or something that needs extra money, and we have a wonderful community and everybody always comes through and we haven't been able to use it so that that's been really rough um so all the more reason for us to quickly you know get the life thing going the life still going um and get as many people as possible coming to you know buy the goodies and there's some really really cool goodies um anyway enough of me rambling about that let's hear from you guys if anyone have any questions, then now is the time. Culture shocks and surprises. Oh, interesting. When I came here. Well, for one, I figured that this free country where everyone spoke about was not so free as I thought it would be. It's like America, land of the free, right? And the first thing I remember was going to the beach. Venice Beach here and the very first thing I noticed when I got to the beach was a big sign and the sign said no smoking no running no skateboarding no roller skating no I mean the list went on and I was like I took a photo of it I'm like I don't have it anymore but I'm like might as well put no breathing underneath it I had never seen something like that in my life in Europe never a whole list of you may not do this and and that to me was like that is that is not a, a free country so that really 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 shocked me and then the other thing I noticed is that there are so many spelling mistakes like blatantly on advertising signs because I used to be an editor um, in England for a while and man if we didn't spell something right or a celebrity's name wrong i will double triple check everything because i would get in big trouble so i learned to look for spelling mistakes and uh and and they were like i remember there was a, a cab taxi that had some huge ad on it and it was completely <laughs> misspelled i couldn't believe it these, these signs that were misspelled, never seen that before. Never seen that before. So that was a shock. And the other shock was that nobody really visits each other. There's no dinner parties like we have in England or in Holland, or you, uh, you know, you have your friends come over and you have a dinner party and you can have three dinner parties in a, uh, in a week. Very normal, everybody socializes. And here it's like, no, no, don't come to my house. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> you just don't get invited for dinner. Where in Europe, that's, that's very normal. Um, nothing gezellig. Yeah, precies. Yeah, the grammar is easier than the Dutch grammar. Yeah. 
gezellige kingverjaardag. Ja, yeah. oké. Okay, so uh, that is actually funny. That what we do in Holland when someone's birthday. It's, it's hysterical, actually. You think about it. Um, so the whole family and friends all are invited, and it's usually during the day or in the early evening. And it's it's a coffee and cake. Yeah, coffee and cake. And um, you come in and you, you go around and everyone sits in the living room and then you, you walk around to kiss everybody. Mwah, mwah, mwah. We do three kisses. And then you sit down and you get a cup of coffee and you get a, a cake and then you just chat, chat about. And, and also the other thing is that even though it is only one person's birthday, you congratulate everybody with that person's birthday. Yeah. It's a very strange tradition if you think about it. Yeah, but definitely you congratulate the parents. Congratulations with your son's birthday. But the friends as well. Yeah. Okay, you still have a problem with dry ears on my pick, like the pick you had today. Fungus treatment, cream and oral, had ivermectin, nothing works. Okay, so the only thing that works that we have found is the blister sole. Now you're you're probably not able to get that. So what I would recommend is something that you can get and that will work, and that is called grapefruit seed oil. So I'm not sure how to translate that into German. Um yeah, I'm not gonna try. But um I'm often even thinking if that isn't the best thing that works better than even the stuff that we're, you know, the chemical stuff that we're buying, to be honest. So that, because I remember Vanella had the same thing. She, Vanella, my friend who runs San Diego Rescue, she, she had, uh, she showed me a photo. She sent a photo. She goes, Sass, I don't know what to do. I've tried everything. This whole, there's a whole group of pigs that she rescued all from the same place. And she said, they all have this on the ears and I cannot get rid of it. We can't get rid of it. And I said, try the grapefruit seed oil. And it worked. So I'm sure you have it there. Cause it's, yeah, grapefruit, grapefruit, not grape seed. No, grapefruit, the big fruit, the yellow, big, you know, sour fruit oil, grapefruit seed oil the oil from the seed of the grapefruit grapefruit extract yeah there you go that must be it try that and let me know in a week next week if that made any difference because that's that type of fungus i know exactly what you mean and uh, and and a lot of times it's not even recognized people think it's kind of normal to have that the ears just look like that. Oh, the ears are just dry, the skin's dry, but it's not normal. Like we used to think the feet are, are okay. The feet are just dry, it's normal. You know, it's not normal. So we're learning so much. It's like so, I'm just so excited about that, how we're all learning about all these things, you know? Like I, I live for that, to find things. I really do. That's become my life's you know my life's thing whatever that is my thing you hate the three kisses and you're a former Brit living in Holland why it's cute it's kind of confusing when you're traveling around Europe because some <clears throat> you got to figure out because every country is different one does like one and some do four and then there's only one that do, does two, so it's different in every country. <laughs> um, but what I found in Portugal, for instance, is that they kiss you even if you don't know them. Hmm, how's that? So normally we would just shake hands. Oh, hi, how nice to meet you. But in Portugal, they go straight for the kiss. You get two kisses. Mwah, mwah. I'm here, I'm hiding. You get two kisses in Portugal. Yeah, I don't know you, but hey, come here. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And that hugging thing, I, I, I like doing that hugging thing. And then people are always like, like this, you know. Like, wait, you're going to hug me? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, 
Yeah. I've always been a hugger. <clears throat> and that's not a Dutch thing either. So sometimes I will give three kisses and a big hug and they'll like, what's she doing? <laughs> Ah, no, real kisses, not the mm, fakey one. Just real kiss on the cheek. Yep. Uh, by the way, watch, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it's that fungus that you're looking at is is what your piggies have. You got three kisses from your Belgian friend. Well, Belgium used to be part of Holland. And then some more in the 1600s or whatever, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> that history is also complicated. Belgium. Okay, one part was Dutch and the other part was French. So Belgium somehow got cut in the middle and then one part became Dutch and the other part became French. And that is why one part of Belgium speaks French because that's their neighbor and the other part speaks Dutch which is their other neighbor and then sometime later they decided that they just wanted to be Belgium again so now there is Belgium again and um, one part speaks French and the other part speaks Flemish which is a, a kind of a Dutch Belgium was still with Holland in 1815 Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I didn't even know that, Michael. I didn't even know that. Yes, uh, I want to do my German channel on YouTube. And, but my problem, and that's a serious concern, Shokalina, is how are the German guinea pig community going to receive me? Because I know they have some, well, what we could call, what we would call like, very opposite notions of how we think or do things um so i don't know they might just all like rally and start protesting <laughs> then i have a german channel or they're gonna go wow maybe there's something to it i just don't know but i thought because i see some german uh, of our followers kind of struggle and and you know write in german which I'm really struggling to read and, and answer because my German's not all that good. Um, so I do have a, I started with a, the Ivermectin video that I did because I think that was important. And I had it dubbed, not dubbed, I had it subtitled to German. And then I thought, I asked some questions to the, to the gentleman who's German and I said, well, what would, we, would be better? I want to start a German channel. And he said, well, to be honest, dubbing would be better. So do you know what dubbing is, guys? Because they never do that here. Yeah, the Walloons live in Wallonia, right. Um, so, uh, what was I? Dubbing. Yeah, dubbing is weird. So then I'll be talking, but someone else's voice will be coming out of my mouth in German. So, well, that's kind of cool. I can't wait to see that. And per, the, the other, the, 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 the bad part is that it's expensive. It's like $10 a minute to translate uh, a video. So, well, it's not that expensive, but, you know, in terms of what, what I would get back, probably we wouldn't get back as much as we would put in on the YouTube channel itself. Because um, I don't expect to get this enormous following. But, yeah, we can just do subtitles. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, uh, you know, Robert Redford talking away in German. It's hysterical. Portuguese do it too. The Spanish do it. Uh, who else? The Italians? Yeah. And that's why they're struggling with English. Especially the older generation. Mm -hmm. And in Holland, well, we don't dub and every Dutch person speaks English. Like even little kids. I don't know how they learn it, but they speak it. I was like that. I was a little kid. I was nine years old and I was having conversations in English. Don't ask me how, but
but that's just how it is. And, and the Scandinavians, same thing. So yes, I don't know guys, should I do the German thing or not? I don't know if Ava could, could give me any help on that because Ava, <coughs> much as I love her, she, she's not German or is maybe not up to the German, you know, how they care for the animals, I'm not sure. I think I'd rather hear from German supporters who know the temperature. Because I know that bathing a guinea pig in Germany is a huge no-no cannot bathe your guinea pig and and I also heard that there can be pretty brutal in the groups as well about you know when someone says something and you know the guinea pig police I call it and that's just so sad by the way this really is because nobody learns anything everybody just gets pissed off it's bad energy and and people just turn off YouTube and just go sus you know sob a, just go sit in the corner it's um it's it's sad i mean with with the group weakers i at least we we always try me and and all the volunteers and the moderators we try and be kind and encourage people to also respond with kindness um because there's no only way that's the only way and i, I know i talk about this a lot but it's so important you, you're not going to teach anybody if you're not kind you know i had a boyfriend once and uh this boyfriend was a very smart guy and he said and we'd fight every now and then and he would say saskia you're not gonna teach me anything unless you give it to me or tell it to me with love and that stuck with me I'm like wow he's right i can yell man everyone's gonna yell louder <clears throat> and nobody it, it gets nowhere it just ends up somewhere high energy madness and, and and aggression and you know so yeah you gotta bring it with love and only only then people will listen uh, Germany's guinea pig community is very strict, especially when it comes to the piggy's diet. No pellets, a lot of veggies and forage. Keep it as natural as possible. Okay, well, that's not far off on me. What else? What else do the Germans do that, that we do not do? I'm in Germany and my friends always have washed our piggies. That's great to hear. That's great to hear. She's in Germany and she gave Lumi a bath. Okay, well that that's that's all good. Because I heard there's there's no way you can bathe a guinea pig. Um, do I have a Minnesota accent? What me? Really? Um, she is German, but I think she's lived maybe in America or still lives here or now she's back in Germany I'm not sure but she thinks she's lived here for a while or in England and and that's why her accent is um wait Midwestern accent are you still talking about me no just tell me no we're not talking about you because <laughs> my accent cannot be Midwestern surely yeah so against bathing guinea pigs but you know but maybe it is good if, if the videos go out there. And again, in no way ever do I say in my videos, it's my way or the highway. So there's really not that much to get upset about, right? It's either you, you, you take it or you don't. It's okay. I'm not yelling at you saying, this is what you ought to do. So maybe it is a good, a good idea. And then, you know, we get a lot of Sri Lankan people and a lot of... Uh, you know, people from India, who, well, most Indians speak, speak English, actually. But, like, Sri Lanka, English is not so good. Or some of those countries, Singapore, where they just don't have that, the type of vet care. Where they just even not know the basics of guinea pig uh, care. So, I was even thinking of maybe doing a channel 
just in that in that in that language. Um, China, for instance, very few people in China speak English. China, I think, and they have guinea pigs, you know, and um, uh, okay, there's some Germans in the Dutch groups, and they are very much stuck in their own ways. But then again, there must be things in every country. Yeah, you know what? Every country is different. Every country has their own way, um, core way of taking care of guinea pigs. It's culturally and it's been, you know, I heard that for the longest time, and I don't know if this is true, that Germans did not give water to their guinea pigs. They just gave them lots of vegetables and that, that was enough water. For them so I don't know if that's true yeah Americans are monolingual yep that is I don't know why there is no well there is Spanish in school now some schools you probably can learn more languages now but um, my cone is all I know it's good huh I like it too. It's very nice and soft and gentle. A Thai couple that run a YouTube guinea pig account? That's good. Uh, guinea pigs are popular in Japan. A lot of Japanese people do not speak English. So I don't know. You know, if it was that easy, then everybody would be doing it. No one's doing that. So I don't know if that is, is you know. Oh, Jared, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Mwah. Very sweet. So I don't even know if it's a good idea, guys. But I don't want to take the plunge and just, you know, to get egg in my face. Or just like, we don't want your your like here. <laughs> Go back to Holland or something. Just put it out there and see. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. Because I, I think I do have something to offer. And you can either take it or leave it, you know? Spanish and some Turkish? All right, you win. You win. Here's a male guy. Hi, male guy. You're, you're live on YouTube. <laughs> He's a really nice guy. I just told him you're a really nice guy. He doesn't know what the heck, who I am, what I'm talking to. <laughs> I just think I'm nuts. But he was really nice yesterday. He's a new male guy. Uh, no water, of course. Wait, Chocolina, what did you say? Message retracted. Wait, what, what, what? Was I right about the... Was I right about the vegetables and no water? Even though the Netherlands know a lot, I still learn new things from you and the group. Thanks, Joy. Thank you, well, Evert. Thank you, Bill. You speak Southern England. I love it. Okay, perfect. Oh, God. I just love it. All your euros are here. I always wonder, are you, is it because I'm European? Because we have that connection there, you know, rather than I'm an American, because you don't really have a connection with an American as such as you would with an European. But I don't know. I think I sound very American these days. And every now and then I say something very British and people go, what? <laughs> you never heard about the no water thing. Yeah. Okay, good. You love my laugh. <laughs> my funny laugh. 
Oh my god, when I, when I, when I really start laughing, I gotta crack my legs because I pee in my pants. Isn't that a horrible thing to say? <laughs> Here, I'm laughing again. Over what? Nothing. <laughs> UK has so many dialects, it does, but so does the Netherlands, and it's just this, this freaking small, it's like one of the tiniest countries in Europe, and we have like, what, 20 different dialects, and some I don't even understand, it's crazy, huh, but listen, for all you Americans, who, if it, you, ha it's got to be on your bucket list, go to Europe, because, it is a world of difference outside. There is a world outside of the United States. And if you don't go, you're never going to know. Just go if you can. Just do it. Just be adventurous and buy your ticket and go, you know, get a train pass and, and just go from one country to the other and, 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 <clears throat> and, and kind of immerse in the cultures. You know, that's why I wanted Izzy, my son, as soon as, you know, I'm like, I need you to go to Europe. I sent him, I was gone for like four months, and he went from here to there to there, and I'm like, you gotta go. I, 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 you're, you're half that Dutch. I need you to understand the world and that there is more than just America. Because America seems to be just kind of, it's huge, but yet it's very small. And you have no idea what the rest is of the world until you actually visit. And it's beautiful. Yeah. I want to visit Asia. I do. I just have no time to do anything. The U.S. is one of the most insular countries. The other half of my heritage you're half Western European mix, I'm half Japanese, half Western European, and I need to see the other half of my heritage. Yes, you do. And the U.S. is one of the most insular countries in the world. I, I, yeah. There's probably m m some that are more insular, but I, I, I do agree with that. And you're scared of the police here. In Holland, you just... Uh, Hi, dog, police officer. And they wave back at you and with a big smile. Here, you're like, oh my God, this is the police. Oh, shoot. Just stay low. Just, you know, pretend nothing's going on. Because we're scared of the police. Anyway, we're not talking about guinea pigs. Let's talk about guinea pigs. Any more questions for me? Shall we go and see if the babies... The big oh you haven't seen the little fluffies they are so big fluffy big fluffy babies let's see if we can do a little baby cam okay because we haven't done baby cam can we do baby cam I guess so. we were getting all into politics and, in, and into into like hey. i'm i'm yeah, pretty charged hi is this our our, our new rescue uh, yeah. boys? It is. Oh, look at you! They're all clean, <laughs> on nice soft blankies, and you got lots lots of num nums. You still need pellets. Oh, dang it! Yeah. I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I don't miss a thing. That's what they always say. Saskia never misses. <laughs> And, I and it's like uh, water over there. There's no they like this it and that. Down because they can reach it better. They can reach you fine. Come on, eat all your goodies. Did they get some vitamin C already? Yeah, I believe so. And Good. <gasps> okay, look at this. You're getting way too big for the skate. Where are the fluffies? Hi, baby. The little lilac okay. looks like Squishette. So she I, looks like Squishette. So I made... I took... No, you took the photo and I made it into a vector. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? I haven't seen the vector. You told me that you made that one, the blonde one, into the vector. It's this guy. He's our latest. He's oh, our latest the art piece. The blonde one, I got it off. Dude. Oh, the blonde one. Sorry. He's no, it was the blonde one. It was the blonde one. It wasn't this one. Oh, really? Yeah. It was the all blonde one. You got adopted already. You got adopted, yeah. Okay, so you know, baby cam, but they've already eaten. It was a really good let's family. Give them, let's give them some extra food because. Would you say this is four colors? Give him some uh, yummy, I'm giving him some yummy, yummy, yummies. Yum, yum, yummies. 
Oh, uh, the treats are on the way. The flower power should be on the way soon. And... You're so cute. Oh. Wow, there's a bag of flower power here. Oh, it's open. Flower power. They're coming back. They're all individually sealed. And they love them. These wafers, people are begging me, they're emailing me, when's it coming? And it's so good, and they all love it. Oh, here, you get some to my handsome prince. There you go. Okay, look at this. It's... No, 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 you don't walk over it. It's there. What is the date? This is the Here. Really? That's a that's a pea flake. What? All right, we need something else. <laughs> Here, Missies. Okay, I'll get you some more lattice. Fine. <laughs> Accept the offering? Yeah. Accept the offering? No more interested in what I have on my hands? Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. When you come back, you'll be employed. I love right. you. I <laughs> don't know. I just want to see the You should be. Oh, no, you guys are falling. Oh, it tickles. You guys are like squishette. Oh, how does Miss Echo? You want more? She's still on her. Um, yeah. I've got they something very interesting on my hands they because they're one? enraptured with them. <laughs> Look at her. She hasn't stopped sniffing. Oh, oh, we nibble. I am not food. Yeah, okay. Okay. When did you think I was food? Okay. Five, 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 um, unless there's some somewhere that I haven't seen. Brussels sprouts? Why don't you leave me? Here, I know you like Sprouts, okay, that's good. And so, yes, oh, I'm giving them sprouts, guys. Oh, sprouts. dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Living life on the edge. Brussels um, sprouts. Sprouts are actually, again, they are kind of staple in Europe. Europe. As cabbage broccoli and sprouts. And cabbage. And of course, they all like this better, but you know, there's not enough in nutrition in this stuff. You gotta it's eat water. The other stuff. Romaine is all nice and well, but they're like me. They like the, like the harder the, stuff. They like the like the deep greens. The deeper green you go, the more bitter it is for me. And I, I like my watery veggies. Yeah, <laughs> less one. nutritional ones. Such a shitty one. So this year, did they get their pellets? Are you having pellets? Oh my god! I'm just so happy had their veggies. So, I am so happy we gave them a bath today. Watch that one eye on him because that one eye that's facing us right now is much squintier than the other eye. Yeah, but the, the minute they get nutrition... I know. I don't know if it's just an imbalance, like one is drooping more than the other right now. But like, I have a feeling it's going to be fine. I'm going to stay a couple of weeks of food. Can we weigh them right now and put it on their cage? Because that is really... I really would love to know their weight so we can start comparing it. 
Okay, guys, we'll leave you for a minute to enjoy all the little babies, but they're not all that little no more. The lilacs are my loves. And you know, little babies, you need okay. to not take your stuff and, and come over here. here. You need to come and eat it here. Okay. But, 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 but I'm stealing your stuff. Yes. <laughs> I'm stealing your stuff. So you have to come and eat it here. More, more stuff in here? I'm stealing it. I'm stealing it. <laughs> oh, he's not too there. bad. He's at 1060. But he's not the same. Uh, we, are we keeping track of their weights? Yeah. Um, oh, you already got it? No, but... Oh, write it down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're making the cards right now? Yeah, I was going to do it in a separate one just because I figure... Is okay, so sneezing? he is 1060. 1060. Okay. He's sneezing. Huh? He's, uh, he's not sneezing. Oh. And 740. 740. Okay. 1060 and 740. The weight difference is. Oh, that, my so much that I would, I would wonder if they've been living together. Maybe we should watch him when they're eating to see if one's eating faster than the other. No, no. Or is it just that the one's no. older and he's older? Yes. Because I know he's definitely older than the two. If they yeah. didn't know each other, we would have noticed because they would have definitely gone. No, yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. So. I just wonder if, like, he just, because when one girl missed me, it's slower than the other, so I have to, like, you know, watch her when she, this is my prince. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped. He's like, Mom! <laughs> Who else needs extra food? Extra food for my sickies. Okay. What thing? More straight on view. You guys. All piled up in there. Stop playing on each other. Out. We're too big to do that now. This one's my favorite. And look at the little lilacs. Look at that. I know Michael, she looks kind of like squish hat. <laughs> Uba tuba? Uba tuba is a marble that we can cook. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah.
Come on, boop you. Who comes for the boop? <laughs> okay, so I think we're starting them on the outside. Yep. Setting them on back for the vitamin C and red, and I think mm -hmm. the orange one needs like terrible sun on both his eyes. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's, it's I crusty. Okay, if it's crusty, then yeah, we can. We can. Also, it looks like ring room because it's kind of bald around them. Mm -hmm. So I and that it get it gets bald from moisture. Okay. Um, but it's the hair stops growing right around the eye if it's been um, okay. leaking. He also seems can... kind of hairless. I don't know. Like, he seems like he could grow more hair. Yeah, it's probably, probably it's, it's a lot of it is just malnutrition. Okay. That will probably correct itself with good food okay. and environment C. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would watch him at first, and then if things, if anything starts to flare up, that's when we notice that like that is an actual issue. Because okay. right now it's just so much of it is just yeah, lack it's... of care. Okay. Okay. Um, I was gonna say back from. And yeah. Yeah. Any respiratory things in my house? Uh, soaking. soaking. Soaking them. How do we? How do we do that? We have the soaking bucket. That thing? Yep. What you guys use? Water bottle. You don't want to wash it out. Yeah. <laughs> what we do? What I do is I I would sterilize it very well, and then I would put um you have the hot water here, so uh you can use the hot water and then uh, a little bit of base bag, and it's just like a thin layer, just enough to be, and you put them in it. And this one works really well. We used to, we used to always, uh, I think it was really easy to soak because I could go and do other meds while I was doing it because I would stick a piece of lettuce through here Aww. and he would just eat it. And then I would just move it down as he, as he ate. <laughs> yeah. How long do you eat for? Uh, 15 minutes. Every day? Yes. Okay. This one? Uh, five? We can start with once. Okay. Um, do they both need it? Yeah. Because of the bumble, it's, it's for the bumble. Baby, you're getting bigger. And so you have two pouches? Sophia would give it to you. She can have the pouches. Okay. I can Don't charge her for the pouches. Okay. Have a good night. Bye, safe on. I'm 
driving an Audi right now. I'm the best. What? Oh. <laughs> what my last two experiences with Brown Park Company were great. They gave me a Cadillac the time before, and now this time they gave me a Cadillac. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I like that. Yeah, right, we'll right there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he was saying he couldn't find any. And so I said, well, I found some. I can 
Thank you. Oh, I'm going to try to find it local. Okay. Uh, give it to me first. Oh. What? Hey, Julia, who you're yeah. struggling? So I left. You couldn't find it. Hi, children. Oh, oh, you're so sweet, girl. Yes, you are. Okay. You see, this is this is why we love those open top cages because they get used to you, and then they you can just like interact with them. And she's a licky pig. Oh my God, she's a licky pig. Yes, you licky pig. What are you smelling? Your licky pig? What a sweetheart. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's everybody's favorite cage, isn't it? The young mummies and the babies. It's just love, 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 love. It is all love. All right. So we're going to take good care of those poor boys that came in. I don't think they've been named yet. The I know they're the best licky pigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I don't think they're yeah, licking us because of is, affection. So like, it's something know, else. But it's just we like to think it is, right? I, I like the piece of tape because you can write. Yeah, I think Chocolina, I'm just going to try it. Or you or know, it is, I've been thinking about it for a long time it. to do some Japanese yeah. or Chinese, like some Asian, I but I mean, it's, I, I think it's kind of hard to get even shown there if your channel is yeah. is American. But um, uh, it, <sighs> Germany would be the closest for me. And then the most familiar. One. So I'm going to just try. Uh, I'm just going to throw a few videos <laughs> out there. And if it catches on, it does. And if girl. not, then I can always just shut it down. You know? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll just, uh, I think I'm going to go the dubbing route, um, which, you know, I will fund myself to see if, if that actually if it works. The first few videos. Oh, Mario, thank you. you, are you hey, he's an Italian. Mario Rabotino, ciao! Tell me your 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 Italian. Come on, Mario. Tell me your please. You, you are no. Ciao, Mario. He's Italian. That's so funny. I I have a, this Ribbon? thing with. Yeah. Maurizio. She's the one in the photo. That you day. might not know about, but the, everybody else. You're Italian. He's a real Italian. Maurizio is a fake Italian. <laughs> he was never even claiming to be an Italian. I know. He was my Italian, though. No, I've got two. That's great. Thank you, Mario. In Australia. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, Mario. Ciao. 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 You're so good. So I like Maurizio. I think we need to name a guinea pig Maurizio. I probably have had a guinea pig called Maurizio because I'm, I'm so fond of the Italian names. I really am. Well, I married an Italian, so. Yeah, I like the food. What can I say? Um, what are we saying? Oh, a channel stuff. Yeah. So, I'm um, like not sure. They need to stay together. Maybe if they're on the not same sure. Line, stay oh, let's talk about the pigs. Here. Um, what do we got? What do we have? We have a hippo who's not doing 100% again. But he's looking better, apparently. Yeah, his yes, poops. Oh, look, he's eating what? My beautiful Hippo? Mm -hmm. yeah. Has someone cleaned his cage today? I think so. Yes. We had someone, the volunteers, cleaning the cages. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because we did get the zzzz thing. Slacking. Vacuum. See, she has to translate <laughs> the zzzz <laughs> thing. I know. The, the vacuum. <laughs> Patrick. I speak her language. Patrick has a boyfriend. <clears throat> Every once in a while, she'll stump me. Uh huh. Patrick has a boyfriend. Patrick has a boyfriend. Oh, you just put him in. No. He's been, been there. Yeah. yeah. He was hiding behind Patrick yeah, when you put him in there. Patrick, we, we want to see your face. Come move your butt. Patrick, we're roughing him up. 
Budgie. But I Come on. <laughs> He's refusing. He's only going to show his butt. Oh my God. We want to see you. Hi, Budgie. <laughs> my little baby. Where's your boy? Is the boy looks like Casanova? He looks like Casanova. Oh, Casanova. Okay, so uh, Desiree discovered Desi when she picked him up that on the side uh, attached to his rib there is a a little bump. It's only about this big, but I do not like it. It's one of those that you touch so, and you don't like, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a biopsy on that and see what it is. But thank you, my love. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you, too. Why is it so boring? And, um... Oh, Mario, I don't... Maurizio, I don't think he lives anywhere near here. Why is she talking about Maurizio? No, he just comes on to say Maritza hi. Maritza is one of her favorites. Uh, <laughs> Maritza is one of her favorites to talk to because she likes to say his name. <laughs> I, think, I think she enjoys oh the God. Italian names. Yeah, he comes on just to hear me say it. Yeah, we, we have a thing going. Um, now you see, now you completely I, I confused me yeah. again. Gonna get, get a biopsy done oh, uh, for Podrick. What, what is Podrick's friend's name? I, I, we don't even know. It's Rooster. Rooster. You named him. Rooster. Shit doesn't remember those. Yeah. No, this is no life <laughs> yeah, This is not a good lump. I, I, I just know it's not a good lump. So I want to get Dr. Nan to do like a little, um, little biopsy. And then to see what we're dealing with exactly. Would you do a video about running an animal rescue? You, you like where you start and steps you take. That is a great idea. And I am supposed to do this on Zoom for everyone wanting to start a rescue, just to come and learn and ask me questions, and I can tell you what you need. And but I feel there is so much work involved. Is there? I mean, if I do a Zoom, shouldn't I have like? graphs and stuff and and all that you know or can it just me be talking and not having to put financial graphs up and stuff like that because <clears throat> i can but that is what's taken the time the dr nan bit from last week which one Because we have so many Dr. Ann bits from last week, because she was here last week as well as the Saturday. Yeah, the financial side is very important, but I, I think I can explain it without graphs. I promised a video last week of the nebulizer. Um, Jules and I are in the last stage of finishing it and I need to talk to her about it now because she's here she she hasn't been here all week because unfortunately she 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 had a car accident she's fine but a car is totaled um, so she wasn't here all week because we were working together on finishing it it's just a few touches we needed to do that is the reason why I didn't put it out but yeah. the bead one was yeah. cool, right? Did you see that one? The little bead on the oh, yeah, thingy's teeth. I didn't notice that there was anything. And like uh, I think yeah, I need to I change the um, the thumbnail because you can't really see it's a bead, and I don't think people are, are really getting it or watching it because I thought it would get a lot more viewers. And then the one before that, that was the little piggy that when I turned her upside down to rinse her mouth, it blood came out of her mouth probably because she has some kind of a tumor in her mouth that was the biggie with the teeth um that thumbnail i thought was not too bad i mean it was a little bloody inside but it wasn't like a real nasty you know and the, the thumbnail it, the, they took away the uh, monetizing monetization on that and then i changed the thumbnail to someone something that didn't show the blood and they were fine with it so you you can't put gory thumbnails because they don't like that or if you have too much gory content but I mean gory it's all what we do it's all educational really and especially if the doctor does it you know I mean I'm not gonna start doing first do that's a dr. Nandos she does all the, the hardcore stuff but um, 
Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Who with it? Um, I'm always talking about it. Piper, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I remember them. Yeah. But yeah, I have a few yeah. cool yeah. videos, especially the one with that little, I call her spicy potato, potato top. And, um, we, I did the video from when she was brought here, from when the next, or the same day, Dr. Nan saw her and was diagnosed, and we have a picture of the receipt from Peco, uh, and, um, you know, they definitely sell sick, sick, sick animals, and this was a good one, like I said, because Dr. Nan was right there, and I even asked her, like, with the camera in her face said, so, so you what did you say is this a sick guinea pig and she said absolutely this, this guinea pig is very sick so and that one is going to be done and then I have one on euthanasia I was working on and that's a really hard one because I I'm not sure how that is going to be received it's here it's something yeah. that we need to talk about it's something important something a lot of people will probably in their life deal with with their guinea pig so it's really kind of because we, we did have to have okay. to euthanize a guinea pig dr nan was here um so i kind of talk about the process she gets this injection she falls in such a deep sleep and and that's when they get the final injection and i, I just wanted to show that bit like there is no pain she's already like up in the clouds, hanging out with her friends, because she's so sedated already at that point and sleepy before that final injection. And so I don't know, it's a very sad subject, but I do feel that someone should touch it, you know? Someone should. It's like that video I did, like when, when it's time to say goodbye, and that's that's another tough, it was another tough one that I, that I made, but I, I felt I needed to do it. I don't want to shy away from subjects that people need to know about. It's the worst. Oh yeah, no, I had to put my cat down. I, uh, Betty, my pig, Black Betty, we, we put her down too. I don't know if you guys know that. Hi, Argentina. Yeah, and it's a hard topic, you know, especially if these were your first pigs, you've never been through it. And, Oof. Yeah, vets do it without sedation. Yes, and they do it in labs without sedation. They actually, in, in the lab, they take the guinea pig and they inject the, um, the lethal cocktail directly into the stomach without sedation. So, and that is a perfectly acceptable method because they don't want to bother with having them sedated first. And that should not be allowed. It should not be allowed. They should be sedated. Because at that point, they don't know and feel anything anymore. They're already gone. They're playing. You know? Anyway, um, so we're not showing actual final injection. We're not showing that. But we do talk about it. Dr. Nan is there. We talk about it. She talks about it. And um, we just showed a bottle of the stuff. And we just see her sleeping, really, you know? And I'm just filming her and loving on her before she went. And, you yeah. know stuff and I can still get tears in my eyes thinking about that oh my god there was this this border this week now I'm gonna cry his name was George Michael he was a skinny oh, pig stop. I, I know uh, and he was just gorgeous where's Julia thanks so much where's Julia um he had uh, he just had a, a teeth thing done he had an abscess that was stitched shut which I thought was odd because you normally would like to keep them open so it can drain um, 
He also had this weird lump hanging here. It was kind of really low hanging, but I could almost feel like there was a stem that was going, you know, Ryan. to his body. Um, there was a bunch of stuff wrong with him when the owner dropped off and she knew and it was oh, her honeymoon. This is, he adopted, right? um, she, and he wasn't eating. We had the syringe feeding. He wasn't eating. And he came with us so much medication. And so on the second day, there's, there's where he says, listen, he's still not eating. And I go, what is he on exactly? And one of the ones was Batril. I said, I'm going to call the owner now. I'm going to ask permission to take him off the Batril, which I did. I said, listen, your pig's not looking good. I've taken him off the Batril because it is a known suppressant, appetite suppressant. And that is the last thing they need when they're sick. Makes them sick. So we took it off. And the next day, he was eating. And I contribute that wholly to the taking away of the Batril, OK? And he was eating. He was just walking around. He was doing great. And then two hours later, he just keeled over. And he was like in dying mode. Yeah, really oh, it was horrible, and, and we could not, we couldn't figure it out. I never eat. I want to come back. Wait, I want another one. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, well, thank thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah, There's he sauce. went. We had to, and then, a, but, but, but we got the owner on on phone so she could see her piggy and could mm -hmm. say goodbye and stuff. And, and, uh, and then we asked if for permission for you tonight for euthanasia and we, we took him down to this vet down the road that that helps us when you know we're in a pinch and we need a pit that needs euthanizing immediately and they they will always do that for us Betrol is an is an antibiotic which i no longer want to use and i we don't use it anymore so if your if your vet wants to give you Betrayal or enrofluxacin, you can always ask for a different antibiotic because they may or may not be aware of the side effects of this. Some pigs have no side effects. Um, La Bamba had a bad side effect. He did not eat for five days, and then I figured out, man, it's, it's the Betrayal, and it's definitely the Betrayal. So, Bectrim, yes, much better. Spectrum is much better. Uh, sulfa trim, sulfa. Sulfa, trimexazone, and trimethoprim is the official name of Spectrum. Spectrum uh, is the brand name, and the generic name is what I just told you, and it's only because I have it right here, I could tell you. But, um, yeah, and it works just as well. And maybe there might be some cases where only Betrol will do the job, but you know, it's a broad spectrum. So is Bectrim. It, it will do the job just fine. So as far as I'm concerned, no more Betrol. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. So yeah, some picks are fine on it. But, you know, I just don't want to risk it because if you have a weak pig already, and even if it takes two or three days that he has a bad reaction to the betrol and doesn't eat, that can be the end. Can be the end already if the pig's already, you know, not feeling good. Um, yeah. Question. Yes. Do you think that betrol would have the same effect when it's um, done with nebulized? The nebulized or no? That is a great question that I cannot answer. Mm. So that is a question is we can ask Dr. Nan. Okay. I would think not okay. because it doesn't go into the stomach, mm -hmm. but it does go into the bloodstream when you're nebulizing yeah. it. So I'm yeah. not sure. Okay. Not sure. Yeah. So we're going to, that's a good question that we're going to, we're going to remember to ask or remind me to ask. Because that we yeah. like to know. Wait, really? It's not really. Vinny was always a black. So Vinny, I remember. Black. Well, we'll say yeah, when Vinny they have really bad upper respiratory infections is, or a I think, I think um, pneumonia or, or almost pneumonia, we always yeah. nebulize them, and we use gentamicin for the nebulizing and sodium. No, not sodium. It's a saline, a sodium saline or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I gotta look on that. Sodium um, chloride. Sodium chloride. Yeah. 
um, and that's just uh, you know the medium to to um, nebulize. <coughs> but and that works great, especially for I, I can't stand it when when a vet sends home a guinea pig with a bat pneumonia with just a handful of medi medicines or and says you know two weeks uh, of uh, you know. If it's pneumonia, it should be at least three weeks, not two. No. Calcified blue fungal on the feet. Yeah, I know, right? It's all crazy stuff. Yeah. It's because I, I live for this. I live for this. Yeah. I gotta go. I got my food waiting for me. The fireplace apparently is already on. You already eating your, your Frenchy fries. Your your patat, as we call patat. them in Dutch, patat. And you know, I Lekker told my mom, patat. I told my mom, maybe it is the Dutch in me that's craving mayonnaise with my fries the other day. Because <laughs> that was the first time I had it was when I was in Holland. The Dutch eat their French it's fries good. with mayonnaise. Yes. Because it kind of cuts the saltiness. Holland came to visit the and I thought it was crazy when he did that. Holy yeah, salt. with mayonnaise. Uh, stop. It's it's nuts. Or, <laughs> or, we also do mayonnaise. With peanut butter, no, with peanut sauce, like a satay sauce, but a little spicier. It's the more Just Indonesian than the Thai Just version. That makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's not vegan mayo, no. So I can't have it anymore. I have to bring my own vegan mayo. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you. Mwah, thank you. So next week we'll have lots of updates and the little sick skinny and the little two sick boys that came in. We can see how much weight they gained and I hear you. Hi. Hi. That goes. Okay, so oh and remember, next Friday, okay? We're gonna do our live. We get so much cool stuff. So don't forget love you guys and if you are not on the uh, newsletter go to the website and put yourself on the newsletter so that you don't miss out on anything that we put out um, and of course also the notification bell everyone always says that I don't, I don't think I've ever said that so that you don't miss out when we go live which we all know is only, only on a Saturday <laughs> so it might as well have not said anything but um, I love you guys. Yeah, it's this today. This time is Friday. Yeah. So, mwah, love you all. I will see you next week. Okay. I look forward to it. And thanks to my moderators. Did they all fall asleep? Really? No. All right. I love you guys. Mwah. Night night. I regularly do that.